and we are live. Wow. Guys, welcome to Fresh Fit Podcast. Today, we're actually taking a request from the people. We're going to talk about how to vet women in today's day and age. And we actually added some other bullet points. There's going to be a lot of value on this one, guys. Let's get into it, baby. All right, folks. So it is Wednesday, middle of the week. Uh, if you guys were here last week, you saw a lot of stuff going on. Also, the late night podcast with those Canadian girls. It was crazy, man. <laughs> Myron's birthday. He didn't want to celebrate it, but you know, your boy Fresh got to make sure Myron has a good day and some good. I times. got too late, guys. I, I I was sick yesterday all day, man. I was <laughs> like, because I don't drink like that, guys. So like, I was just like, uh, I felt I felt horrible. Yo, Chris, <laughs> did you enjoy Myron's birthday? Oh, I enjoyed it a lot. Oh yeah, Chris definitely enjoyed it. <laughs> I enjoyed it a lot. <laughs> At my oh, expense. <laughs> Hey, you know, hey, don't worry. I'll take them off for you. you yeah, know. yeah. Thank God you got rid of those chicks. But Jesus. yeah, guys, real quick, Patreon is blowing up. We're getting a lot of people signing up. Guys, the content there is incredible. We got Rolo, we got Hotep, we got behind the scenes with a lot of stars that we that you've seen on our, on our channel. And real talk, guys, the more value that we're adding to Patreon is unbelievable. So hop on there if, if you're missing it. Make sure you get on there soon because we're going to add a lot more as well. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, guys, I mean, I don't want to sound cocky, but we by far have the most content on Patreon like that's of high quality than any. Because I, I look at all the competition, okay? And we're posting every day. We answer everyone that asks us questions at the $20 tier. We literally film a video and send it to you. Send it, you know, for all the 20 tier guys so they can learn as well. Yep. We film a video for every single $20 tier question. One video response per month. Nobody else in the sphere does that. You yep. know what I'm saying? Uh, that amount of um, content. So and a Zoom call and a Zoom call, weekly Zoom call. Where uh, this week we actually had our boy uh, Steve, Steve from accounting, who is a uh, CPA here in Florida. He's a millionaire. You know, he doesn't brag about how much money he has, but he is a he is a multimillionaire. Guys, verified. Yeah. And um, yeah, you know, he owns a couple of CPA practices, and we talked about some strategies on how to uh, protect yourself financially Taxes. with the new incoming administration. Because make no mistake about it, Biden and Camilla are going to take your money, guys. Yep, it's coming <laughs> anytime Democrats come in. The, uh, you know, once you make a certain amount of money, they're going to come after you, bro. Yes, uh, we are bringing Steve back as well. Yes. Actually, he's in our high value course. Yes. So we got the video behind the paywall of Patreon, $50 a year. That video was insane. But guys, the course that we're, we're bringing out now, yo. That's yeah, the course is done, guys. 30 videos. 30 modules, guys. Holy crap. Professionalism, working out, uh, lifestyle. networking, lifestyle, branding. How, to, branding, how to get in touch with high value guys. I mean, guys, we got the receipts. You guys have seen a bunch of. Yep. You know, big YouTubers, celebs, uh, guys in the manosphere, everything. Fit, and fitness. The fitness, you know, uh, like you guys have seen this all because why? We know how to network. We know how to politic with people yep. and how to add value, guys, at the end of the day so that people want to work with you and they want to uh, grow with you. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we got the receipts on this show right al alone. You know what I'm saying? If you guys look at it. Um, what else? Uh, Any honestly, other announcements? I think that's pretty much it. Merch is out, guys. Get yeah. the T-shirts and the, and the sweaters. Uh, fresh fit stuff. We just added a new hoodie to the line that's premium. That's a little bit high, like higher quality. It's a little bit more expensive, but if you guys want to get like the premium, more like a nylon type joint, we have those. Yep. Um, and then we have all the t-shirts there, the legacy unplug fitness, unplug lifestyle. Um, and uh, anchor to our newest episode was uploaded today, by the way, in the morning. So check it out. Avoid these girls in 2021. Yes, oh, guys. Go. And we also uploaded a uh, 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 audio exclusive only where we talked about, you know, uh, vaccines, vaccinations, you know, the UFOs. beer bug, future UFO, all that stuff. So and that's all on Anchor, guys. Shout Go out ahead. to Jeff. Yeah, Steve was amazing. Also, JB says, I'm going to have to sign up. Yeah, bro. Guys, sign up. Trust me, there's a lot of value here. Um, But yeah, you guys made a poll. Uh, we did a poll for you guys. You guys uh, answered. Mm -hmm. And the topic today is going to be basically vetting women and not wasting time. So yeah. man, you want to start it off, brother? Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, shout um, out to our first two Super Chats first. Okay, let's do it. Yep. Super chats first. first Super Chat, uh, Nigel Cowdy, 499. Don DeMarco. Thank you, Nigel. Oh, a, Don yeah, DeMarco. Yeah, I got you, bro. Um, paying some tuition. Yo. Keep every, bringing the heat. Yo, every show, the first donator will get a Don DeMarco. Yeah, there you go. There that, you go. That'll be the new trend. Yeah. Uh, Rafi Federico, uh -huh. can you give me, Ralph, a Don DeMarco? Okay, all right. Because right, 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 right. you asked for it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Cause you, cause you asked for it. Uh, yeah. what else? Um, anything else with that? Any no. other announcements, guys? No. Um, and good. and guys, with Anchor, just keep in mind, guys. Anchor brings you to everything else. It brings you to Apple Podcasts. It brings you to yeah. Spotify, Acast. Pretty much, we're we're on iHeartRadio. We're on yep. every platform right now. We are literally everywhere. 
like the Beer Bug 19. So catch the podcast there, guys. You want to drive, go to work, whatever it is. Chris is uploading every morning now. Yep. So you guys will have have access to the audio version if you can't stream it on YouTube or whatever it is. So, yep. yeah, man. And, you know, watch this stuff for us. Get the views up. And that way, you know, we can grow on Spotify and Apple Podcasts yes. and put these other Blue Pill Loser Podcasts out of, out business. of business. So, okay. So today's topic, guys, we're going to talk about um, uh, vetting women. The, the soundboard isn't working. The soundboard isn't working. Yeah, according to them. Let's do it one more time. Can you guys uh, hear it now? Uh, we care about it. Did they hear uh, that? I, I should try it now. Okay. Try. Uh, I'll do the Don DeMarco since we missed the, the for the guys before. Guys. Do they got it now? Can you guys hear the soundboard now? Put a one now? in the chat if you guys hear the soundboard. Two if you can't hear it. Put a one if you can hear it. I'm trying to find this now. Hmm. Not hearing Put a soundboard. one in the chat, guys, if you guys... I'm just playing a bunch of sound effects right now. Uh, they can't hear it. Mm. They can't hear it still? No. Hmm. Don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll see if we can fix it. Yeah, we'll calibrate that. Cool. Okay. So don't worry, guys. We will uh, We will fix the sound effects here in a second. Super chat here. JB underscore uh, 84. Yes. Uh, and that shows our lit. <laughs> Got me losing sleep trying to catch fire <laughs> content. Hashtag done tomorrow. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, yeah, you know man. what's funny? If you sign up for Patreon, you won't miss it because we do it like live maybe like one or two in the morning. But if you guys want to see it with the girls talking smack or whatever, just sign up a Patreon. Yeah. Like Fifty dollars tier. Fifty dollars tier, you get access, guys. Yep. Fifty dollars oh. tier gets you access to the entire video library yep. with all the late night podcasts that we do with the girls. And there's a lot of RP truths that get dropped on those podcasts. Uh, all well, right. So they're saying that uh, uh, the soundboard is low or audio. It's low. Like that, but I'll like I'll calibrate it. Yeah, you know. we'll calibrate it here, guys. Um, but anyway. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's get started. So um, we did a poll the other day on our community tab. Hey, guys, what did you guys want to uh, see as far as like dating goes? And we're going to do this a little bit more, guys, interact with you guys, give you give the people what they want. God yeah. damn it. And um, this one was vetting women. OK. And, uh, you know, in this case, uh, guys, let's keep it real. Uh, dating is a clown world right now for many men in the Western world. And um I actually had an interview earlier today where we talked about this and I had to break it down for people about how dating is significantly different for men than it is for women mm -hmm. because people tend to think that it's easy for men to date in 2020 and I'm here to let people know that it's not. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. it's definitely not. And without the certain information that we provide to you guys on like podcasts like this, Donovan Sharp, John from My Life Dating, etc., Rolo Tomasi, Entrepreneurs in Cars, if you don't have this basis of knowledge, you're going to get taken to the cleaner. So we're going to talk about uh, dating in the contemporary marketplace and how to set yourself up so that you actually win instead of take losses because make no mistake about it the current dating field landscape that we have now is not the same landscape that your parents had back in you know the 70s 60s 50s whatever it may be times have changed and we're here to give you guys the rule book on how to operate so you don't get finessed uh fresh you got anything yeah man so basically nowadays fellas if you don't have strength is going for yourself it's gonna be a lot harder also, as well, keep this in mind, right? Girls have so many options now. They can go on Instagram. They go on Tinder, Bumble, uh, all these apps that unless you're adding real value to what they got going on, it's going to be tough. And look, you might be a good-looking dude, but there's a thousand other good-looking dudes. So what do you bring to the table? Vice versa, what do they bring to the table? I mean, let's, let's be honest, not much. But at the same time, they have most cards in their hand. So we teach you guys how to like navigate the marketplace, get what you want, and still maintain frame so you're not like a simp. So that's very important. All right. So um, <clears throat> so we're going to start with uh, number one. Okay. So we're going to talk about the foundation. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about uh, the current globalized sexual marketplace, guys. So um, here's the reality. Okay. Because I'm gonna we're going to start from A and take you guys all the way to Z. We're going to give you guys how the marketplace is, mm -hmm. the mindset you need to adapt, how to actually apply this mindset in your dating practices, which we're going to talk about. And then finally, how to vet a girl for LTR or whatever down the road. But we got we to gotta build the foundation, right? So first, let's talk about the current marketplace today. Keep it real, guys. Women have all the leverage, okay? In a current, we live in a deregulated sexual marketplace. What do I mean by that? I mean that you can hook up with anyone that you want today, assuming there's consent and legal age. I'm going to say that again. You can hook up with anyone you want, assuming there's consent and legal age. Two dudes, two girls girl guy, multiple guys, multiple girls, whatever it is, right? So since things are deregulated and religion buffers that were in place before to constrain, you know, sexual access or hypergamy or whatever it was, 
These things used to be in place to constrain this stuff. Those barriers are gone now, guys. You know what I'm saying? You could pretty much do whatever you want, you know, uh, na nowadays. So what's happened is that now that the marketplace is pretty much open, women choose who gets to procreate and who does not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Women have pretty much the monopoly on who gets to hook up and who doesn't. Yep. What has this done? Well, it's created a more skewed marketplace. And what I mean by that is that it's skewed in the female favor. Okay. We're not knocking it. We're just telling, hey, don't shoot the messengers, guys. We're just telling you the reality of how things work. So what we have right now is a marketplace where women, right, have the choices and only a small percentage of men are getting sexual access to women. You know, the Pareto principle. And it's, it's funny because we like to ask women on the show. We run into them on the street, on TikTok, whatever it is. What percentage of guys do you think are sexually active? And it's hilarious because every single time almost, girls are like 50%, 70%, 80%, 100%. And it goes to show the solipsism, guys, that women deal with a small percentage of men and they think that these guys are the norm when in reality, they're a very small percentage of men. Mm -hmm. So since we live in a skewed marketplace where women have all the options. Okay. Now, yeah, they said the soundboard is working. Nice. Shout out to Chris for fixing that, by the way. Um, you there's, there's basically, there's no way around it, guys. You got to level up and you got to become high value, which is what we teach you guys in here because the only way you're going to be able to combat you know, the extreme selectiveness that women have thanks to the globalized sexual marketplace is you're going to have to become high value because the thing is this, man, now that we live in a globalized marketplace where a girl from Idaho can talk to a guy from Miami, LA, New York City, an athlete, a celebrity, a rapper, whatever it is, and make no mistake about it, these attractive girls have these guys in their DMs, guys. They will lie and say, no, I don't, blah, blah, blah. They definitely do. Now it's highest bitter wins. That's how women date nowadays. It's highest bitter wins. So, since women date in this fashion, we want you guys to also adopt that mentality, the highest bidder wins. Because women naturally do what's best for them when it comes to dating and dealing with men. Men, however, like to have this honor system when they deal with chicks. Guys are taught do what's right. Women are taught do what's right for you. And we want you guys to adopt that same mindset where it's do what's right for you and not for the girl. Go ahead, Fresh. You got some? Yeah, we got a uh, super chat here. Yeah, uh, Frank's Frank. Nora, five bucks. Yo, shout out to Frank. Frank just joined at the highest tier on hey. patreon shout out to him welcome to the fam welcome man to the fam for uh, frank he says um dom demarco for frank yeah uh, for sure 100 percent dom demarco so uh, frank's nerf five bucks mm -hmm. improvise adapt and overcome also the sound work is, is working well now thank you brother appreciate that link we got link gotta play that sound, <laughs> sound. 10 bucks she belongs to the streets unless proven otherwise <laughs> myron gaines happy, happy birthday brother and shout out to fresh for not for seeing what the canadian mouth do though <laughs> yo 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 okay funny story right <laughs> so i got a dm from this guy right yeah. after we did the show with those two canadian girls yeah man i feel bad for saying this i'm gonna say it so homeboy's like yo fresh which one did you um <laughs> which one did you did you with? tag uh i was like you know what I'm saying? The one next to me. He's like, yo, I know that chick. I'm like, oh no, here we oh, go. He's here like, we go. yo, this chick, man, been all over Canada, bro, blah, blah. She gives the best head. Hey, she I was like, to the street. At first, I was like, yo, this thing is capping. When he said she gives the best head, I was like, bruh. Yeah. My nigga. Boom. <laughs> but but it's funny because, like, like you said, she was in Canada, right? Yep. Because of the global marketplace. Now she's here. Yep. So, guys, literally, what my saying is true because get this, right? Girls nowadays have access to guys they never had access to before. So, for example, I had to check over at my spot, right? Chilling, she's there for, for like a couple of days, whatever. She got a damn from Rick Ross. Guys, real talk, I cannot compare to Rick Ross. But at the same time, I had a game to keep her with me, and she showed me the, the, the um, DM saying, yo, I'm going to wait to this party, but she wanted to stay with me. So one thing is to have the, to be high value. Another thing is to have the game to actually know how to uh, understand human nature use it to your advantage because guess what happened right once you understand or once you're rp aware and you have the you have like the uh the money and the uh status to back it guys you're literally unstoppable so a lot of these like celebrities and high value guys are getting all the girls because guess what they're fighting for the uh majority which is let's let's be honest most girls don't want the average guy they want a guy they see online doing well Facts. or they want a guy they see in the streets with a nice car whatever so off rip they're gonna get most of the girls now the average guy on the street, what does he have? He has a regular job, maybe makes 30 to 50K a year. And you know what? He he may be good looking, maybe in gyms and, and, and you know, stuff like that. But guess what he doesn't have? Status, money, and power. And most girls, they want that. So real talk, guys, once you can understand uh, how to become a better version of yourself, 
and get what you want in life, you can, you can then in turn focus on girls. And, and let's talk about an uncomfortable truth. I'm just going to say this because ain't, ain't nobody else going to probably say it. Mm. Yo, most chicks are delusional, guys. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to say that again. Most women are delusional and think that they're entitled to a top shelf guy, even if they're mediocre themselves. Yeah. And if you guys don't believe me, go ahead and watch Takema Samuels late tonight and see these 40 year old chicks that are 100, you know, 90 pounds, five foot one, dress size 14, et cetera, thinking that they're entitled to a top shelf guy earning 100 grand or more that is, you know, in good shape, good earning potential, et cetera. And they think that they're entitled to them. So if women that are older, that are overweight, think that they deserve this, what do you think an attractive 21 year old is going to think, guys? Oh God. You know what I'm saying? So. You got to put things in perspective and understand that most women think that they're entitled to a top 1% guy. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? They yep. just do because we live in a society that, quite frankly, blows a bunch of sunshine up these girls' booties and tells them, hey, you're fine the way you are. You don't need to necessarily self-improve. If a guy can't accept you as you are, he's not worth it, blah, blah, blah. Women are almost never held accountable for their poor decisions, for being overweight, for being insufferable, etc. Now, I know what people Byron, you're misogynist. <laughs> No, bro. I'm just telling you that women aren't held accountable like men are. As a man, if you're a failure, there's consequences to that. You don't get sexual access to women. You get made fun of by society. You're called a loser, a bum. If a woman is overweight, unattractive, rude, annoying, obnoxious, whatever, no one checks her, bro, until I come around and I'm Frank Castle. I'm like, yo. Surprise, motherfucker. Like, no, this is not cool. You know what I'm saying? And then you're going to be, you know, then they're, you know, coming after me in TikTok. So, the point is, guys, is that since women live in what I call a bizarro world where they're accepted regardless of how poorly they act, how obese they are, you need to adopt with the times and understand that a lot of women have a delusional sense of entitlement when it comes to men that they think that they're worthy of. OK, mm -hmm. so since all the girls are chasing the same small percentage of men, right, the top, I would say I would argue. So the top 20% of guys are getting most of the girls, yep. but women are really fighting for the top 10% of guys. Mm -hmm. These are dudes on Instagram with blue checks, with nice cars, etc. Okay? So, um, and the thing is, is that I want you guys to adopt this mindset because women already naturally have this. Women always do what's best for them, guys. Okay? They will flake on a date with you to go meet another guy that's higher value, more attractive, or can offer some other kind of commodity. This is why I say it all the time. Having game is good and it's required, but even if you have game, you're going to lose your chick to simps all the time, bro, that are willing to pay them to get them a bag, whatever it is. So this is the marketplace that we're in now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of these guys are suckers and simps and will spend money and buy things for girls that they don't necessarily know and or even like, you know what I'm yep. saying? Just to get access. So since you're playing this game on hard mode, especially if you live in a major city, you have to self-improve. There's no way around it. Go ahead, Fresh. Okay, guys, real quick, we're going to uh, read Super Chats and then refresh because our guys, are we lagging? Put a one in the chat real quick. Uh, we're fine right now. So are you um, sure? Yeah. But okay. If anything, we'll see. Okay. Jay, right, Jay, 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 84, five bucks everywhere you go. You see the same <laughs> 304. <laughs> uh, and we owe uh, Ralph or Don DeMarco. Oh, yes. Yes, we do. We do. We do. We do. There we go. Don DeMarco. People Don number Don one. These days, five bucks. These days, it's easier to get a woman to sleep with you than it is to, <laughs> to get her to cook for you. <laughs> which Facts. means she is. Uh, for us, benefits material, not wifey material. Yo, real talk, right? There's a phenomenon going on now where, guys, a bunch of girls you see online, you see in person, if you offer them money, they will sleep with you. And it's funny because back in the days, right, you could walk up to a chick and say, hey, you look, you, look, you look nice. You seem pretty cool. Let me take care of you. She'd be like, oh, you know, that's disrespectful, whatever. But nowadays, all these chicks are broke. <laughs> uneducated and they need help so you come to the angle of you know what i got you i'm gonna take care of you trust me they'll do whatever it takes to make you happy and the funny part is is that, is that like nowadays guys like all these chicks that you see online they look good online but they have nothing to them that makes that would even be wife material so that's a very good super chat um, uh any here. others yeah and that was link right yeah no, no that was like oh now it's like uh tupac Subak, Sim dog snake dog did say hey well the city we go i see the same three or four <laughs> Yeah, man. Uh, oh, man. We got um, Ezeal Finger, 70 up, 70 bucks czar. If you take her on a date and she starts taking pictures of her food before she eats, she can't for, for the food. Damn. Actually. Yeah, bro. That's 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 100% facts, bro. I like that one. That's funny. You know what I'm saying? Um, Okay. Were you caught up with the Super Chats? Yeah, we are. Okay. So, um, all right. So, just a quick little recap for the people that are joining us. How many? We got 481 live viewers right now. Can I see that? Or am I blind? Yeah, 41. 41. For, oh, for, uh, guys, like the video, comment, subscribe, comment below saying uh, Curtis Connor is a beta male. 
And we're going to clown him on Friday, guys. Don't worry. We're preparing to shoot shots at these SJWs that are coming at us. First, do you have something? Guys, uh, people are complaining about the lag really badly. Uh, Chris, I think you should do like a refresh real quick. Yeah, let's refresh. On uh, StreamArt? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. refresh it. All right, guys, is it lagging now? Let us know. Put a uh, let's just put a one in chat if it's not lagging. Two if it is lagging. Um, yeah, YouTube is probably like, yo, too much truth bombs being dropped right now. So let us know, guys. Are we are we good to go? I don't know. Are we good to go, guys? One, two, one, two. Uh, we seem to be fine because here, like, I can see when it lags. So, okay, I'm cool. Here, so, we're good to go. All right. Okay, cool. Guys, can you can you uh, hear us without any lag? Is it good to go now? Let us know, and then we'll, we'll move on. Yeah, give us ones in the chat. Ones in the chat, if you guys can hear us nice and clear, and you could see us, and we're coming in nice and clear. And I'm kind of dark, so yeah, you might, right. you might not see me. Uh, yeah, <laughs> are we good now, guys? Give us ones in the chat if seems, we're good. Money yeah, it seems that way. Okay, cool. Give us All ones right. in the chat if you could hear us. And see us. Oh, we got another super chat. Okay, but well, hold on. Are we are we clear? Let me see here. Look for ones. In, okay, we got. I see ones in the chat. All right. Cool. Cool. Okay. Uh, let's read the super chat and then uh, and then uh, get into the next portion. Merciless read. Uh, five bucks. Honestly, unfortunately, I had a chick flake on too short to kick with me. Uh, that's terrible compared to Ross. I know. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. It's just something, man. You know. Yeah. Uh, too short. Are we caught up? Yeah, we caught up. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna lose your girl to rapper, guys. If you live in a major city, L.A., uh, Miami, New York City, etc., you know you're gonna lose your girl to a celeb or some yep. kind of media personality at some point. It just, it's just a part of the game, especially when you're dealing with like the most attractive girls. Those girls are literally just sitting there fielding the best options. That's just the but way guys, it works. It's very important. Don't take it serious, guys. Like, yeah. Look, if a girl flakes, you know what? That's just part of the game, like Myron said. You can't take it personal because guess what? Once again. Highest bidder wins. Yeah. And actually, that brings us to our next point here. So for those that, and guys, sorry for the, now that we got all the ones in here, the yeah. technical difficulties, we're good now because YouTube knows we're about to spit some fire. So first we talked about, for the people that are just joining us, uh, the current globalized marketplace, right? We live in a globalized marketplace. Women have access to high value men that they otherwise would have never been able to have access to, you know, 10, 15 years ago, thanks to the advent of the internet, Instagram, online dating apps, right? Mm -hmm. Then women have all the leverage, right? When it comes to dating. Women, basically, you're not going to gain sexual access uh, to women unless they choose. And unfortunately, for a lot of guys, women choose the top 5 to 20% of guys, man. Okay? Yep. Then, now that we know that this is a skewed marketplace that's deregulated and women have all the leverage, I'm telling you guys that you need to date like women. And what I mean by that is you need to have your best self-interest on point at all times. You got to do what's right for you because women adopt that dating mindset when they date. That They pick... Girl, guys are taught to do what's right. Women are taught to do what's right for you. So I want you guys to have that same mindset because a lot of you guys have this like chivalry, like I need to be a gentleman. I need to be a man of my word, blah, blah, blah. No, yeah. bro. No, because if you do that, what you're basically doing is <laughs> you're bringing a knife to a gunfight or a bazooka fight in this case, because since women have all these options and don't, they don't necessarily exercise allegiance to anyone, you need to operate the same way. A lot of guys are like, oh, it's my word. I got to be, you know, I got to be honest, whatever it is. Nah, man, you got to need to play the same game that women do because the thing is this, you cannot afford to play the game of being a traditional male and chivalry when women are out here not being traditional women. You understand? Women nowadays are not traditional, so you don't, you cannot afford to be traditional because those days are done. You understand? Mm -hmm. And if anything, being a traditional guy that's chivalrous is going to put you in the customer frame, the nice guy frame, et cetera, and she's going to lose attraction for you anyway. So you need to look out for yourself first. Now, that brings us to our point here, which we were going to catch up to which is flaking, okay? Yeah, man. Guys, flaking is an inevitable uh, a fact. It, it's a, it's going to be, it's an inevitable occurrence in the current dating scheme, the dating market, okay? Women flake nowadays like there is no tomorrow, mm -hmm. okay? The thing is this. If you guys remember, we made our TikTok and we went viral when I said you need to punish bad behavior when women try to reschedule dates on you, etc. And I got... Attacked from all kinds of people. Curtis Connor, Beta Beta Self came after me. Philion, 
the real. And the thing is this, guys, these people, right, clearly have no idea about how the current dating landscape is nowadays. Women flake at an astronomical rate in 2020, 2021, et cetera, because of all the options they have. Yep. And you're not going to know this unless you're actually in the game and dealing with women consistently. Yep. And since women flake at an inevitable uh, high flake rate, right? At, a, at an inevitable, It's inevitable at this point. You guys need to basically start adopting to this and having multiple girls set up double booking dates, working a lot of volume, talking to a lot of girls. Because this is what women are not going to tell you. <laughs> They're talking to five to ten different guys. They have dudes in compartmentalized roles. Some guy pays a bill here. Some guy takes her on a date here. Another guy is a foodie date over here. Another guy is her beta male orbiter. Another guy is actually smashing her. Girls have roles for men. And I'm telling you guys that you need to play the same game and have roles for women in your life too. And you need to be spending multiple plates and dealing with multiple women. Women have been naturally doing this forever it's just that they don't openly talk about it because what they're going to be shamed they're going to be slut shamed insulted gold digger whatever it is but women have been doing this forever it's just that when i tell guys that they need to date the same way you're going to get looked at as a misogynist a chauvinist whatever it is but that's the only way that you're going to be able to combat the flake epidemic we have now is you're going to have to work a lot of volume to compensate for the fact that women are fickle flaky and don't adhere to their word in today's dating landscape uh, we got some super chats. Yeah, yes. we have two. Uh, Frank Sonora, two bucks. Good for now with the quality. Hashtag Curtis Carn is a shout out to Frank. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Frank. I appreciate that, bro. Nice, Frank. Uh, Rafi, two bucks. Uh, see if you can get Muslim women on too. Raf, okay, we can work that out. Okay, in Miami, cool. All okay, right, let's get it. All so, right, so, um, guys, so basically, to, to end the rant, <laughs> you just got to accept the fact that flaking is an inevitable reality in today's dating marketplace. You can't get mad about it. You just have to fight back and you fight back by working a lot of volume and talking to a lot of girls and or double booking dates on days uh, where you have dates set up because girls, that's just the way they operate, man. They flake. It is what it is. Go ahead, Fresh. I know you got some. Yeah, it's funny because um, nowadays, right, people get like offended when girls flake. I'm happy because guess what? Now, all the girls I hit up, I can choose which one is available. And it's funny because... Most guys, they feel like, you know what? I shouldn't double book because if I double book, damn, I got to flick on one girl. But you know what's funny? When you flick on a girl, it, it doesn't hurt, hurt them as much. And then secondly, is like, you know what? I'm busy. I got stuff to do. Let's reschedule. And they'll be fine with it for the most part. But I've had the chance, right, to talk to a lot of guys behind the scenes, you know, have my own personal experiences. And it's funny because nowadays, right, what girls are doing is, they're bringing friends on dates with, uh, with them. So, for example, you meet a chick, right? She's like, yo, you know what? I can meet you here here at this time. But, hey, can my friend come? And you're probably wondering, oh, two girls? That's awesome, right? Oh, I, I can deal with two girls. I'm, I'm pimping. But, unfortunately, she's bringing a friend to block you from ending the date on a good note. So, what does that mean? That means that she's bringing a friend to cock block. So, she's going to assess you out, bring a friend on, on the uh, date if she does show up at all. And then sometimes what's happening here is that like she's like seeing where you're at and her friend might leave if you're a good option. If not, she's going to stay with her friend the whole time, eat dinner, have drinks and then peace out. So that's another part of, of flaking or sorry, uh, dating that goes on right now in the current marketplace. But regarding flaking itself, guys, it's just part of the game. And honestly, it's not that bad because like I said before, if you understand why it's happening and it's not always your fault, it could be. She met a sugar daddy. It could be she met some guy that's an athlete. It could be she met a rapper. You don't know, right? Or it could be a guy's paying her to go on a date with him. So at the end of the day, guys, don't take it personal. Just make sure you double book. I have multiple options so that you don't get butt hurt or you don't get upset because one girl flaked on you. When there's thousands of girls out there, you could you can set up dates, dates with. So very yeah. Important. And the other thing too, I want to tell you guys is that women naturally have an abundance mindset. Men have to earn their abundance mindset. So yeah. like girls, just for existing, they're gonna get attention from men. You as the guy, though, not only do you have to become, but you, you're going to actually have to work yep. to get your lead sources. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to be on online dating. You're going to have to cold approach. You're going to have to do, uh, what was it? What was that, Fresh? Uh, we got a control, Zach. No, but it, we um, uh, blocked him in chat, so it's cool. Okay. Don't, don't worry about it. So, yeah, whatever. Thanks for the trolls out here uh, giving us more <laughs> engagement. But anyway, um, so you have to earn your abundance mindset as a man. You have to basically get out there and talk to girls and, you know, con it's continuously always be sourcing, man. Yes. Because the way the marketplace is now, the girls are flaking, so the only way you're going to combat that is by working more volume. Now, yeah. I also want to address this because this came up quite a bit, and we've gotten this question a lot. 
what to do when girls bring a uh, a, a friend, okay? Yeah. So I'll give you guys a little story time, okay? <sighs> About two weeks ago or so, I had planned a date with a girl, right? And um, I told her, hey, meet me at this restaurant, right? And uh, we'll get a drink, whatever. She didn't follow instructions, which is what? <laughs> Strike one, okay? And she was at the mall, which is nearby. It's right next door. And she said, hey, uh, can we meet here? And I was like, no, come meet me here. And I could hear a female in the background, okay? So I knew that she had brought a friend. Now, mind you, we had done a FaceTime call prior to this. I had done some screening. And uh, normally, it's a big no-no. When a girl brings a friend, guys, understand this. She thinks that you're stupid. And it's one of two things. Either A, she's going to try to finesse you for a dinner for her and her friend. Or B, she, there's a safety objection. She's not, uh, she's not comfortable yet meeting with you one-on-one -on -one and she doesn't know, right? So I'm like, you know what, man? This girl's definitely going to get a little bit of Frank Castle. But you know what? Because I already made my, the decision in my mind at that point that I'm going to 100% walk out on this girl. But let's go have some fun, right? So the mall is right next door to the restaurant that I told her to meet me at. So I go there. And as expected, she's there and her friend is there, right? So I take a seat. And I'm like, hey, so you couldn't follow instructions? I immediately addressed the problem, right? So you couldn't follow instructions? Ha, ha, ha. Of course, I didn't do it like in a confrontational way. Like, hey. You, know, you can't follow instructions. I'm like, you know, I did it with a smile on my face. Ha ha. And her friend laughed too because her friend knows, knew, okay, he's calling you out on your BS. Yeah. So we talk for a little bit, have some conversation, build a little bit of comfort. So the friend tries to get up and leave. Okay. And I'm like, no, 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 sweetheart, sit, sit down. I don't want you to go yet. Because remember, guys, in my head, I was I'm walking out on this chick. I don't like her. She can't follow instructions. You know what I mean? Uh, and then the girl that I went to originally meet, she's like, hey, I got to use the bathroom. Let me excuse myself real quick. So she gets up and I talk with the friend. So I start, you know, <laughs> asking some questions, right? I'm like, okay, here we go, man. This is like, let's see what's going on here, right? So I'm like, hey, can you tell me a little bit about, you know, what happened, why you're here, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, listen, she was really nervous. She had, she has anxiety. Uh, before we met, we actually came here about an hour ago. She wanted to get makeup uh, to look cute for the day. She wanted to get some shoes, blah, 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 right? And we had been here for a bit. We were waiting in front of, you know, a makeup shop. And, you know, because in Miami, we got this like stupid COVID restriction. So only two people go in the store. So they're waiting in line for like 20, 30 minutes, whatever. The, the moral of the story is this, guys. Not the moral of the story. The point is this. She was nervous to meet me one on one because she was intimidated by me. Right. And uh, obviously, I convey myself a certain way when I speak with women. You know, I'm very direct uh, and I don't like let them lead anything. So she was scared to meet with me in person. So it was a safety objection. Right. But once that safety objection was kind of, you know, handled and we you know we were speaking and she could see i'm a normal guy the friend wanted to get up and leave but i'd said no so me, me and the friend talk a little bit more i get some more information about her friend blah, blah blah so i'm like all right cool well you know what listen it was fun meeting you guys but i'm gonna leave she's like what why are you leaving i was like well your friend can't follow instructions and i'm kind of turned off she's like what and and she didn't look as good as her pictures right <laughs> i had to get that little last jab in so i get up and i start walking away and i leave the friend calls me, right? Because she comes back from the bathroom at this point. She's like, why are you leaving? Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, listen, you can't follow instructions, sweetheart. So I'm, I'm good. I'm out. So I ended up just like hanging up, leaving, whatever it was. And the, the moral of the story is this, guys. There's going to be times where girls are going to test you, right? Like this, where they'll bring a friend for a safety objection or to get a come up off you, right? Yeah. And uh, you just got to understand that why she's doing the stupid thing she is. But on a balance of probabilities, if she brings a friend, bro, she thinks you're dumb and she doesn't respect you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Here's how you get that to your advantage, though. If she brings a friend, right? What you do is you invite your boy with game as well. That's RP aware. Yep. And you go on a double date. That way you both win. You know how to, uh, you know what I'm saying, deal with, deal with that scenario. But at the same time, you both you both come out on top. Because what's happening, if if you go alone, like what, what Myron said, you're going to get finesse. So make sure you bring oh, they're a gonna friend. they're going to try to finesse you. Yeah, make, sure, make sure you bring a friend that's RP aware. And it worked that out. So, you, you know what I'm saying? At the end of you could smash both of us. You know what I'm saying? And whatever you do. So, like, when I showed up, right, and I saw them there, they already had wine there, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, you have to be even, when, when they pull some BS like that, you better make sure you don't pay for nothing with the for the friend, bro. Like, at all. Facts. You know what I mean? You got to basically almost have an air like, yo, she's not welcome here. Why? What, what, you know, I, I, I would call a girl out if she did some BS like that. Now, in my mind, I had already decided I'm walking out on this chick. But I kind of wanted to, you know, get the Frank Castle learning point, whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, also so I can have a good story time for you guys on the show. But in general, when a girl brings a friend, bro, be, be prepared to walk away. Or if you do have a friend that has some game, you can go ahead and finesse it where you can get your friend to come. But let's keep it real. Most of the time when a girl brings a friend along, she ain't going to tell you. You're going to show up. Her friend is randomly going to be there. And most of the time when you, uh, she brings her friend, that means you didn't do enough work up front to build attraction and a little bit of uh, rapport slash safety 
uh, handling safety concerns because a lot of the time when a girl brings it up, like I told you guys, either she thinks you're dumb, she could finesse you for a dinner date with her friend, or B, you didn't handle safety objections correctly before you met, which, uh, you know, which is what happened here. And then the and then when I met up with her, she was willing to leave, but I was like, no, 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 don't leave because I'm about to walk out on this chick. Yo, but you guys get the point. I wish a chick would show up on a date with her with her friend. Yeah, bro, I it's wish. disrespect. I wish, bro. Ha! It's uh, disrespect. Super it's chats. Funny. So super bro, five bucks. Flicking is how it works now. They are looking for the best with all of the offers they get. Check out a hot friend ZMs for yourself and you'll understand. Big facts, no. man. Big well facts. Well said. Kyle, Kyle won two bucks. Men, honorable warrior mentality. Women, assassin. <laughs> Assassin's Creed. Creed. Now, um, uh, are we caught up? We caught up. Okay. So now that we discussed, uh, you know, the current marketplace that we have, we talked about uh, women have the leverage. We talked about um, why you got to be selfish and date like a woman. And then we talked about the flake, ep flake epidemic and or girls bringing their friends along on dates thinking they can finesse you or whatever it may be. Let's talk about how you combat this. Okay, guys. So we talk about all the time here. You need to become high value, value man. Yep, have to. Because the days of, you know, working a job, making 40, 50 grand a year, you know, being an average guy, it's not enough anymore, guys. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, I really want you guys to catch a show with Kevin Samuels where you're taught th these 40 year old chicks are calling in, man thinking and they're not attractive themselves they're old maybe have two kids whatever these women that are past the wall think that they're entitled to top shelf guys man so you can only imagine what an attractive 21 22 year old girl thinks she deserves as far as the caliber of male so since women have this inflated sense of self-worth guys the only way you're going to compete is you're going to have to be high value yourself because yep. let's keep it real most girls will not even give an average guy the time of day you know what I'm saying? They just ain't. They'll never admit this. You know, they will say, oh, I'll give you a chance. You know, if you guys tune into our late night podcast, we ask girls questions like this and they always try to sidestep it. They'll be like, oh, well, you know, if you had a stuttering problem or if you had this, blah, 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 I'd give him a chance because he had some, you know, a little bit of courage. But then we, you know, we push him a little bit and they're like, okay, but I probably wouldn't respond to his text when he actually follows up. <laughs> and that's the reality, guys. Like girls are truly picking the top guys. So you have to put yourself in that top guy shelf uh, category. Go ahead, Fresh. No, I was going to say, right, for example, <laughs> this is funny because um, you guys want to know the number one, number one way how to avoid or, or limit flaking is to become high value. And that means you're in the gym, getting your, your looks right, you're getting your money right, and also your mindset right. Because what's happening here is that like a lot of these guys that are getting these girls to show up, some of them are paying money. Some of them are actually their ideal type, for example, fit guy, has stuff together, and has a good lifestyle. So your best bet in this marketplace, guys, if you want to play the game, is to be your best self, which just means, for example, you can have value the best way you can. And like I said before, as you go into the gym, as you're getting your money right, and as you're getting your mindset right. Now, once that's done, and, you have, and then next part is having game. So when you, be, when you have game and you have value, yo, it's like a cheat code, guys, le legit. Because if you're RP aware, right, and you got the money, who's going to stop you? So once again, guys, become high value is a necessity for yourself, but also as well for girls because once you get, get that like that power, then comes the money and the girls. So there you go. Yeah, man. You, guys, and I always say this because I know some people are going to say, oh, Myron, Fresh, are you guys telling guys that they need to get more money so they can sip all girls? <laughs> no, don't be stupid. We're telling you guys to become high value so you don't tolerate BS that comes with women inevitably. I'm going to mm -hmm. say that again. <laughs> Guys, the reason why we tell you to make the money, get in good shape, and to get yourself situated is so that you have a certain air of confidence so that when you walk up and you talk to these girls or you go on dates with them, they're intimidated to deal with you. Yep. They understand that you are the prize, not them, and you basically give them a cold, hard dose of reality that, hey, sweetheart, you're not that important. You're not that cool. I know society props you up to be special or whatever, but you're not. You're dealing with a high-value guy, and, I'm, and I have a low patience for BS. You know what I'm saying? And let me tell you guys something. The number one thing I get when I go out with girls, wow, you're intimidating. I feel nervous. I feel like this is a job interview. Good. <laughs> it fucking is. Because let me tell you guys something. When you put women in a seat where they have to qualify to you for once, not only are they going to feel nervous, but they're inevitably going to build attraction for you. Why? Because most dudes are stupid and don't hold these chicks <laughs> to any type of real standard. You know what I'm saying? Most guys are just happy for a girl to show up and, you know, give some like BS responses when he has a date with her, you know, happily take her out to dinner, spend money on her. and She doesn't give you anything. You need to hold these chicks accountable, bro. 
When I'm telling you guys to be Frank Castle, I mean that in all aspects. She needs to be nervous before she meets you on a date. Because she, because here's the thing. When she feels like she's walking on eggshells, that she doesn't want to mess up, she's going to go come correct, man. Most women, I'm just going to keep it real, don't respect men. I'm going to say that again. <laughs> People think I'm speaking Arabic or Chinese or some stuff when I say this. Most modern day women don't respect a majority of men. And it shows because guess what? They don't even know the fact that only a small percentage of men are procreating with all the women. So what does that tell you? Most dudes are invisible to women. And on top of that, when these guys take these girls on on dates, normal guys, the chicks feel like, oh, I'm the prize. You should be like paying for my dinner. You should be doing all this other stuff. That's why they have the balls to sit there and tell you, hey, take me to this restaurant, whatever, which is another finesse that women will try, which we'll talk about that, that as well. Yep. But when the, the fact that a lot of women have this mindset thinking that they're entitled to the top shelf guy, we're telling you guys to become that top shelf guy. And then you have the confidence where you're not going to tolerate the BS. You become high value for you guys. So girls don't finesse you and they come correct. Because let me tell you something. Girls can smell it, right? They can literally smell it when they know that you're getting other girls and you are willing to walk away from her. It is the most powerful weapon you have as a man. And quite frankly, it's your only weapon that you have. Since women have all the leverage, the only thing you could do is become high value and basically give her this air. I'm not going to tolerate BS from you, okay? So you better come correct or you're going to get kicked to the curb. And that's when women come correct. Women get in line, guys, when they know you have other women in line. And that comes from you having confidence, which comes from what? Your competence. And your competence comes from what? Your accomplishments, guys. So it all builds upon itself. We tell you to become high value for you. So these chicks come correct and respect you, man. Remember, you're the Pokemon trainer. We're telling you to get the fucking badges, okay? There you go. All right, guys. Next one's going to be... We have uh, some super chats. Oh, super chats. Okay, cool. Let's hit them. Uh, we got CJ. CJ five bucks. If she really likes you, she would have been a friend because it's competition for her. A friend might steal her man. Facts. Uh, uh, like no cap. <laughs> I <laughs> it happened to me. Uh, honestly, I wouldn't say all the time though, because like with your situation, some girls are actually kind of like nervous. Mm -hmm. So she's kind of like, "Yo, this guy's legit, six feet uh, tall. Sorry, six feet plus. He has abs. He has his money together. Like, damn, I don't know how I'm gonna feel on this date." So her friend was there to like kind of like ease ease the pressure. But still, out of respect for you, she didn't listen. So yeah, and uh, yeah, if, exactly. If, if you have a game, most girls would uh, definitely give their friend like an hour or two to handle you afterwards. You know, if yeah, you know exactly. I mean. uh, so, people number one, two bucks. She will bring a friend if she likes you. Uh, as she sees you as beta bucks. Facts. That's yeah. that's another one. Like yeah. like that. That's very common. Yeah, and it's funny. Most of our, uh, the students that we we teach say, "Hey, hey, uh, fresh and fit, yo." This girl wants to bring a friend, a friend on a date. I'm like, yeah. bro, don't go on that yeah, date. Yeah, don't go on that date. Yeah. I mean, she's not really into you. If so. she tells you up front she's bringing a friend, yeah, bro, bro. That, that means she really doesn't respect you. The only way you could do this is if you say, yo, you know what? I'll bring a friend too. That way we could like have, there you have, go. have a good vibe. That's the only way you should do it because guess what, guys? If you're going by yourself, yep. I'm telling you right now, most guys don't have the game to even bag two chicks, let alone one chick. Yeah. So it's like, bro, don't yeah. even make that, that choice because it's going to be bad for yeah, you. Yeah, like honestly, normally, guys, if I wasn't like doing a podcast and a show and helping guys with this, yeah. if when I when I heard the phone and I heard her friend, I would have said, are you with your friend? Yeah, she's here. I would have just hung up the phone and not even met up with her. Mm -hmm. But since we have a show, I was like, this is going to be a good learning experience. Experience, And also, you know, sometimes you got to give these girls the Frank Castle tr treatment. I went over there, see what's going on, deal with the situation, get the backstory of why she actually brought her friend, right? Which in this case, it was anxiety and fear. And, you know, curve them anyway, because, you know, someone's got to hold these chicks accountable. So now she ain't going to forget that. So she'll come correct next time she has a date that for the next guy. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't bring my friend because this is kind of rude and disrespectful. So uh, we got Link with the Super Chat. Go ahead, Chris. Yes, five bucks. Uh, should we negate the friend being brought to the date by sending that, that rule before the date or no? Or what should make that guy look creepy? Well, what will happen, though, a lot of the time, so Link, this is a good point. What they'll do is they just won't even tell you. They'll just bring the friend along. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the time they'll do that. If they see you as a beta bucks and they don't respect you, they're definitely going to bring the friend along and not tell you. Um, sometimes you get a rare situation like mine where like she was just legitimately scared. But regardless, bro, I would if she tells you up front, you can, there's two ways you could do it. You could be like, no, don't do that. Or you could bring a friend that's well-versed in game and spin the situation around. But me personally, bro, like if a chick says, I'm going to bring a friend and she kind of like tries to set that term, I, I'm no, I won't do it because I know that she's basically trying to uh, take some leverage in the date and control some of the frame. And I don't like that. Go yeah. ahead, Fresh. See, for me, honestly, man. But like, you can't finesse it. I'm like, you know what? I'm eating food. I need my boys to eat food, too. So if I got a girl with a friend, yo, bro, come through. Let's go on this double date and get some food together. That's how I see it. So, hey, you want to bring a friend? Fine by me. Come through. I'll bring my boy. We're going to link up. That's what it is. So, yeah. So that's two different ways to handle it, man.
And and this it, this is obviously contingent upon the fact that you have a friend that's not an idiot and blue pill simp. Because <laughs> if you bring a simp, he's gonna pay for that and all this. Other, yeah, nah, bro. Yeah. Uh, go, go ahead. The drugs. Uh, Five bucks. Uh, dick the podcast guys. Random question: Would you consider watching chicks Insta stories? Free attention, validation. Oh, that's a very good question, man. Uh, should we answer these at the end? Uh, yeah, let's make a let's make a note of it, man. That way we don't lose uh, track of the, the, right, the points. Cool. No problem. So yeah, just make Chris have that, that guys. Don't worry, we will answer all questions at the end, and we're gonna do a Q and A. So don't worry. Uh, so get your super chat questions in now. We're gonna answer all of them because we might answer some of these during the during the presentation. All right. Uh, still sleeping, bro. Go ahead. Five bucks. Confidence means everything in the data market, especially if you're in areas like MIA. Uh, New York and LA level up and know your worth just like they do. Facts, bro. Well said, man. Facts. You guys need to have uh, uh, an overinflated sense of ego just like these girls and think that you're entitled to it because I'm telling you, bro, average girls that are obese, unattractive, whatever, they still think they're entitled to top shelf guys, man. Trust me. Facts. Go ahead. Uh, Rafi, the damn friend, uh, two bucks. Uh, get a modern woman is, is too much work. Rough. <laughs> <laughs> well, if that's your choice, man. <laughs> hey. That's fine. We ain't uh, going to knock you, but. Oh, uh, boy, Robert. Uh, 279. Hey, do you suggest always walking out if it's a safety? OB, uh, safety OB? Rob, I'll answer, I'll, I'll, I'll answer that at the end. Good question. Uh, I think he means safety objection. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, like he's basically saying, like, like, OB well, my Jay. situation, like, uh, me walking out. Um, anything else? Any any other things? No, we're good. Okay, so, um, we talked about flaking is inevitable, becoming high value. Um, so, <laughs> Fresh, you want to take this next one, point six? Yeah, so next one, guys, is uh, Sure, it's a lot of volume. So, guys, you don't understand, right? Like, I've literally sat down with these chicks, right? After like days since after smashing, and I'll get their Instagram, right? Oh, yo, let me see your DMs real quick. Guys, it is hundreds of blue pill thirsty dudes, right? In their DMs. And when I say the ultimate abundance mindset, girls have the ultimate abundance mindset. That's why they don't care if you flake on them, bro. Yeah. So, you guys out here acting the same as everybody else. We'll not get you girls. What you have to do is, is like the, the last person super chatted, you don't want to get too much attention and set the, the date right away. These guys are writing poems, text, texting to themselves back and forth, having a long monologue over the phone as well. It's like, bro, set the date as soon as possible because if you don't set the date, one, you're going to waste time with her, free attention, and then three, she's going to go smash a dude that's actually sent on a date with her, and you're going to be texting her while she's at a dude's house. <laughs> like like me. So for example, point here is that guys, girls have a lot of volume. And if you're a guy that wants to get laid, I'm telling you right now, don't waste time back and forth on texting or back and forth on a cell on, on, on a call. Set the date as soon as possible. Get a FaceTime call with her, 10 to 15, 15 minutes, and then go from there. Yeah, bro. Don't like, you know, I know some guys talk about text game and all this other stuff. Guys. <laughs> Listen, man, I'm not saying you can't like take a, a, a cold lead or like a girl that's lower interest and increase it through text. But why would you want to do that, man? That's a waste of your time, bro. Like if you're truly out here working, making money, trying to become the best version of yourself, you don't have time to sit there and text with bimbos all day, bro. Yeah. Like I'm just going to keep it real. You don't. You shouldn't. You know what I mean? If you have time to sit there and text girls all day and work a lead for weeks at a time and get her on a date, like, nah, man, that's stupid. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's that's dumb as hell. Like, bro, stupid. Like, nah, you could be using that time to do other things. You want to deal with high interest women, guys. When you yep. deal with lower interest women, you're gonna have a headache. I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now. Facts. 99% of men's frustration when it comes to dating girls comes from dealing with low interest women that don't really like you. And you're trying to sit there and build attraction over text or whatever it is. And it's like, bro, these girls are not, they don't deserve that type of energy or that type of time from you. Okay. Girls should be earning that from you, not just getting it for free because they already get attention from simps all over the place, bro. Yep. So the only way you're gonna put a little bit, you know. Put some respect on my name. Is that you're not going to give the attention away for free, man. No free attention, guys. Shout out to Alan Roger Kerr. We talk about this. That is your only weapon as a man. That's when girls respect you is when you don't give them free attention. We got a super couple super chats. Go ahead. Yes, uh, Joe Mas uh, Masashi, five bucks. I would disappear in the shadows if any girl dares to bring her friend, their friend to the date. <laughs> Fair to respectful indeed. That's funny, man. Facts. There you uh, go. Frank Snow. <laughs> I like that five one. Five bucks. <laughs> you are the only person on this planet responsible for your needs, wants, and happiness. Dr. Robert Glover. And no more miss a nice guy. Damn, facts. That's 100% well facts. You can't blame the women, guys. Yep. You can't blame the women. We're just teaching you guys how they operate mm -hmm. so that you guys can maneuver correctly. Because 
Society will not tell you the cold, hard truth nope. that these girls have sugar daddies. They have multiple suitors. They got guys paying bills. They got guys flying them out. They got guys that um, they do got, certain things for they them. They got boyfriends. They got boyfriends. <laughs> girls have dudes in certain roles to fill certain needs, okay? Yeah. And in today's marketplace, it's even it, that happens even more so because guess what? We got the advent of the internet. So a girl can be a girl, a nice girl next door, right? Because a lot of you guys come in here, Fresh, Myron, what are you talking about, bro? Not all girls are on boats and mansion parties and yachts and actually like using guys for money. Nah! Nah, bro. You are very. Are you dumb, stupid, or dumb? Because huh? let me tell you guys something. They're coming to Miami. They're coming to Vegas. They're coming to LA. Girls trip, whatever it may be. Yes, sir. They're on a boat hanging out with dudes like us getting smashed out. And I'm telling you guys, <laughs> this is what's going on. It's just that you don't know this because society does everything in their power to make girls look like sugar and spice and everything nice. They ain't going to tell you the unflattering realities about how women really get down nowadays, bro. Yep. Because <sighs> – go ahead. You got, go, I'll make my point after I, you. It's funny too. Like a lot of guys <laughs> like, yo, I'm good looking at it. get all the girls. Bro, no, <laughs> no girls don't care, bro. You know what it is? It's about the lifestyle. So you can be the ugliest dude on the block. If you got a good lifestyle – Chicks are coming, bro. Yeah, bro. These chicks are out here smashing dudes left and right, guys. Yep. If feminism has done anything and, uh, you know, more women being enrolled in university, etc., it is glorified and encouraged for women to be promiscuous. Yep. It is glorified and encouraged for women to be promiscuous in today's dating age nowadays. All right. They are 1000 percent encouraged to go out there. Have fun with the bad boys in their 20s, a.k.a. dudes like me and Fresh, and then find the loser and try to settle down in their late, in their epiphany phase, right? Shout out to Rolo Tomasi, 28, 29, 30, right? That's, they're, they're encouraged to do that. Put off marriage, put off children, focus on their career, the sex in the city lifestyle. Girls are encouraged to do this. So we're here to tell you guys that since women are encouraged to do this, you guys need to play the same game. And let's bring that brings us perfectly to our next point. <laughs> guys! In order to be able to vet women and pick the right girls for you, you need to get sexual experience and you need to get out there and date. Yep. So many of you guys, hey, bro, I'm 21 years old. I got this girl. She's like really cool. I, I'm thinking about like shacking up with her and being a girlfriend. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, Myron, I got this girl. I met her. She's really nice. And, you know, she makes me food every now and then. I think I want to make her my girlfriend. <laughs> Yo, Myron, I go to school with this girl. Uh, she told me that she used to be on the CC, but now she's changed and she's a born again Christian and she wants to date and get married. <laughs> Yo, listen, man, you guys got to understand that you can't be dumb, bro. These chicks, I'm telling you, the a majority of the virgins in today's day and age are men. You take an average 21-year-old girl and an average 21-year-old guy, she's running laps around a lot of these dudes sexually. She's had a lot of sexual experiences. Now, how are you going to combat that? Well, a lot of the times when guys get finessed by women, it comes from an ineptitude of understanding the opposite gender. I'm going to say that again. <laughs> Most of the time when guys get finessed by women, it comes from an ineptitude of understanding the opposite gender. So mm -hmm. knowing, right, that girls are purity dealers, I say all the time, women are like used car salesmen. What are they going to tell you? Oh, I'm nice. You need to take me on a date. You need to do this. Blah, blah, blah. I don't really sleep around like that. Blah, blah, blah. Bro, you need to be able to see through that, right, and know the true secret. That these girls are getting down and you need to watch their actions, not listen to what they say, Okay. Because girls that have had a promiscuous past or did certain things that they don't want you to know, they have universal habits, which we talked about on a couple other podcasts, 10 signs she belongs to the streets, and then 10 reasons you don't want to take a girl seriously, which I go suggest I suggest you guys go, go watch, watch that. But stuff. the point is this. You need to get sexual experience, and you need to date these girls and get out there and figure out what you like and what you don't like. I always talk about it like this. Before you guys even think about having an LTR or a serious relationship, you need to have five things in place, all right? Actually, before we go into the five things, let's hit the super chest because I know they're piling up. Go ahead, Chris. Uh, we all tried it to, uh, to 19, 10 bucks. Girl bought her friend to Burger King date. I played it cool, but when we ordered, I ordered a mini. When their large orders were still cooking, I casually said, anyways, it was not nice mean, y'all. And you dipped it. <laughs> Bro, that's how you got to do it, baby. Oh, just man. be like, yo, she shows up with a friend. Just that's be like, funny. nope. Nah, man. Like, we ain't dumb out here, bro. Like, right. these girls are always going to try to finesse you if you let them. You know what I'm saying? And real talk. If you get finessed by a girl, it's your fault for not knowing. You yep. know what I'm saying? Inexperience. Inexperience, which comes back to what I was going to say. So you need these five things in place, guys, if you're even going to think about an LTR or anything like that. Because a lot of you guys are lover boys. You guys want to get into a relationship. I love her. You know what I'm saying? You guys want to get all romantic. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, bro. You need to have these five things in place. Number one, 
you need to have at least six months of savings in the bank, okay? Six months to a year, all right? Living expenses. Number two, personally, I think you need to be making at least $100,000 a year if you live in the West, okay? Number three, you need to be in shape, okay? Because when you're in shape, it automatically is going to give you a certain mindset and a certain discipline that women are going to like, admire, and respect. And on top of that, she's going to have genuine burning desire for you, okay? When she's touching your body and she actually wants to initiate the sex instead of being repulsed by your belly because she can't SUD because she's got to move your stomach out the way, you don't want that, bro. You got to be in shape. Number four, you need to have at least a 50 lay count, okay? And then number five, you need to be at least 35 years old. Now, I know what you guys are probably wondering. Myron, why, why do I got to have all these things in place, man? Like, blah, 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 blah. And the reason why, guys, is... When you have these things in place, guess what? You become what I call an entry-level, high-value guy. And unfortunately for you guys, I tell you guys this all the time, women are fundamentally incapable of leading a man within the confinements of a relationship. Okay? I really want to hammer this because people think I'm speaking Chinese when I say this shit. Women are fundamentally incapable of leading a man within the confinements of a relationship. When girls say, oh, I want an equal partnership. Oh, I want to be the same. We're going to work together. We're going to build together. Bruh, girls don't move in. They move. Sorry. Girls don't build. They move in. You understand? That's the reality of how women want. They want you pre-assembled. They're not going to sit there and build with you, right? So you need to build the castle and let them come. You know what I'm saying? Damn, son. Where'd you find this? So when you have these five things in place, right? 35 years old, 100 grand a year, in shape, uh, six month savings, it's a 50 lay count. You're going to have a, a basis of a, a knowledge, uh, a knowledge foundation to move correctly in the marketplace. And number one, know what you like and don't like. Number two, be able to uh, know what you're going to tolerate, what you're not going to tolerate. And then number three, you're going to be high value enough so that you'll be able to have boundaries set up. So when she messes up with one of these boundaries, she's going to come correct because when you're a high, higher value guy, women know deep down that this is harder to come by men like this. So you need to have these boundaries in place from what? Your confidence, your competence, and your accomplishments, okay? And when you have these things in place, then you can start to dictate your terms, and she's inevitably going to fall into her feminine, and she's going to follow your lead and defer to your authority. She ain't going to fall into your authority, guys, if you don't have your stuff together. That's why we tell you guys, yep. women are like Pokemon, and you're the Pokemon trainer, all right? When Ash had just Pikachu and getting his ass kicked, Charizard didn't want to listen to him, right? But as soon as he started getting the badges, you know what I'm saying, started looking all good, guess what happened? Charizard, flamethrower. Okay, boom, flamethrower. That's exactly how women operate. They need to follow you, and the only way they're going to follow you is if they feel like you're the catch and you're the higher value guy in the relationship. If she's not uncomfortable, right, I always say, future, bitch don't get too comfortable. She needs to feel like you can, she can lose you at any time to some other chick. That's when she's going to be on her best behavior, man. Rant over. Facts. There you hey. go. Preach, man. Yeah, Preach. man. So that's what it is. Uh, man. I'm going to give myself a Don DeMarco. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, man. Don DeMarco. You got some chats here. Yeah, Daryl Blake, five bucks. Tickets to church, guys. Us average dudes need to have this drilled into our heads. Facts, yeah, bro. Oh, Different levels, bro. Different levels. Oh, it's like, um, there we go. Uh, Dave Dosher, uh, 499. Do you guys know Love Dorsey? She seems RP and spits truth trying to help men. Might live in Florida and be down to appear on the podcast. Bro, we don't take advice from Yeah, we don't take advice from coaches. women, bro. Like, coaches. I, I like, and I hate to say it like that as if, like, we're like, you know, sexist or whatever, but bro, there's just certain things that women aren't going yeah. to tell you as a man about what it takes to be attractive to women. Because number one, she doesn't date women as a man. That yeah. automatically that makes any female dating coach unqualified. Facts. Because there's certain things that women are gonna try to get away with when they deal with men that they would never think to do with their girlfriends. Yeah. For example, let's say you are going out with a girl, right? And she tries to pull some BS like, hey, I want to try this steakhouse out. Let's go to this restaurant, which is a big red flag, guys. If a girl does that, you're automatically like, nah, you kick her to the curb. But with a, her girlfriend, she would never try to say, oh, let's go to this fancy steak restaurant unless she intended to pay for her friend. And that's one of the examples of how women are never going to try to get one over on each other, but they'll do it to you as a guy. This is why most female dating coaches are not qualified to give you advice, bro, because they ain't going to tell you, hey, you need to ignore these girls. Hey, you need to leave them on scene. Hey, you need to let them know that they're not sugar and spice and everything nice. Hey, you need to make your purpose first, not her. Female dating coaches ain't going to tell you this. They're going to tell you some BS like, uh, you know, when she texts you, wait three hours and respond with this. <laughs> or, hey, uh, you know, when, when you date with women, understand that her feelings matter, all this other bullshit that doesn't matter. 
Like we give you guys concrete, actionable advice from two dudes in Miami and one of the hardest marketplaces to do this. These chicks don't know what they're talking about, bro. They're full of cap. These female dating coaches. Let's go ahead. Cap. Uh, okay. Yes. For none. First date. Do's and don'ts. All right. Ooh. Okay. We'll keep that as a uh, as a question. Yeah. We did a whole episode on that as well. If you want to check it out. Yeah. Um, but we can rehash some of it here for you guys. Yeah. Okay. One second. And by the way, we got 716 live viewers, guys. Hey, how many guys, likes? Like the video, please, because we don't want to put this millionaire Sub song on. Sub to the on. channel, guys. Sub to the channel. To the channel. All, you know what? We need 30K by June. At least. I think we could definitely hit that. Yeah. Facts. At least by June. It's February. Uh, yeah. And then some guy from the playback. I don't know. The playback is a channel. I heard people was, uh, they made a video about us, about Fresh and stuff like that. So after cool. the show, we have to check it out. Probably some YouTube channel called Playback. I don't know. Most of the guys are chatting. Playback? Okay. Yeah. Playback? All right. We'll check it out. We don't know who that is, bro. Uh, Ruben um, Monetaires, 10 bucks. <laughs> Run a white claws for fresh and fit. Keep us, fellas. Thank you, man. That's Thank up, you. Man. Thank you, man. Mulis, new mod. Uh, five bucks. Girls go through their whole phase when, when they are ready to settle. They plot the I'm a good girl card. Don't fall for love. Yeah, bro. Easy, they're going to try to, like, you know. Like it's Raphael, all cap, bro. Rafael Blanco, five bucks. Uh, do you guys have any quick tips for a college freshly learning to code approach? Yes, Actually, sir. we'll answer that at the end. Yes, we will. Uh, Daniel uh, Covertini, five bucks. Time to level up so you don't have to date well lowers anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yo, bro. yo, you know what's funny though? Like, real talk, guys, right? Very, very, very uh, good point because I feel like at a certain level, guys, like, yo, I don't want to date fours and fives. Guys, when you're no starting out and you want to smash, you're not going to get a 9 and 10 every, every single day. Facts. And you don't so want to deal with them, bro. Yeah. So you got to date the grunts to get to the big boss. So don't look. It's an L. Yeah, it's a four, 4 or 5. But when you're small and starting out, you need that experience to go to the big boss. So don't so, get mad at it. Um, okay. So now we talked about. So guys, quick recap since we got 700 of you guys in oh, the yeah, house. Thank you so more. much. On, we oh, more. we got more? Okay. Yeah, uh, view out trader 219. Uh, five bucks. Got to bring back the six nine song followed by the double goof laugh combo at least once a week, if not per live. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. They there love that. Go. They love that they love laugh, that. bro. We have, the goofy uh, laugh. T. A. Smith, two bucks. Dear future husband by Megan Trainer SBS. Yeah, guys, dating advice from females, bro. Yeah, bro. I, they, I, they they don't live in reality, guys. We don't read it. Yo, we don't read it. So. Guys, I always say it. Men live in a fact based reality, bro. Women live in a bizarre world. You know what I'm saying? And if women didn't live in a bizarre world, why are over 50% of women single right now? I'll tell you why. Because they're delusional of what they think they actually deserve with men versus what their sexual marketplace really is. You know what I'm saying? Dudes on an innate level understand, eh, you know what? This girl's a dime. I make $20 an hour. You know, uh, you know I'm kind of broke. I'm, I'm going to shoot my shot, but if I get rejected, it is what it is. Right. Women, however, 300 pounds... You know what I'm saying? Two kids. You know what? Let me talk to this chat. If he rejects me, oh, you toxic misogynist. <laughs> Bro, you guys want to know something? Uh, you know what? I'm just going to, you know, I'll tell this. I don't care. I'm going to tell this story. When I get messages from like fat chicks on the internet, or whatever, right? On like dating apps or whatever, bro. You know what I do? <laughs> I literally message her back and say, yo, how much do you weigh? And I actually make the <laughs> so say, how much do they weigh? Because they they'll, they'll okay. ask you questions like, how tall are you? You know, uh, you know, whatever. And if you respond, well, how much do you weigh? Oh, you're a jerk. Or I'll just say, hell no. Because, bro, someone's got to bring these chicks back to reality. If it's got to be me, I'm going to just say it. Hell no. You're too big. No thanks. <laughs> whatever. Because somebody's got to tell these chicks, bro. All, All right. right. Go ahead. Uh, What's up? Roberto. Roberto. In the building. What's up, brother? <laughs> Facts. Slay the dragons. Dig in the trash when hungry. There you go, <laughs> man. There you go. Yeah, man. You guys got to, you know, at some point, think of it as like World of Warcraft when you kill the little runts. You know, you got to get your experience level up so that you can fight the final boss. Yep. We all got to start somewhere, guys. Exactly. I'm May 626199. Hashtag Don, uh, Don De KK. <laughs> Kiki. Don De KK. Okay. I don't know what that means. Kiki. That's uh, Spanish, probably. Okay. Where, what, what, what? I don't know. Um, right. Cool. Okay, so uh, we were talking about uh, the need to get sexual experience, right? Yeah. Now, let's get into uh, vetting for long-term relationships. Yes. So, uh, guys, um, we say you need to have these things in place so that when you have these things in place, you can set yourself up for the woman to respect you, okay? Because I think a big mistake that a lot of guys make is they don't understand that the woman's got to respect you first before anything really happens. Mm -hmm. Now, when you have these five things in place, again, 35 years old, 100 grand a year, six months of savings, in shape, and 50 lay count, you're going to pretty much have a good grasp of how the marketplace works, how women think, how women operate. You have an idea of what you like, what you don't like, etc. You're able to enforce your boundaries because you're high value to the point where she might feel a sense of pain from leaving you. Because remember, guys, women need to feel pain 
if the, if it, they need to f- feel the need that if you left them or if they left you, there would be pain. There'd be a void. You know what I'm saying? And as soon as they feel that, then that's when they're going to come correct, right? Yep. So with that said, once you have that in place where she respects you, now you can start vetting for a long-term relationship, which I'm going to have to agree with my man Lucario on this. Bro, one year to a year and a half vetting, bare minimum. You yep. know what I'm saying? And because the reason why... Fresh, I know you got a point out. Go ahead, hit it. Dude. And then, you know, it's okay. funny... Yes, you need time to see how a female it really is because females can pretend. So they'll be one way with you at the start to get what they want. But then once they get it, they'll change at that point. For example, marriage. You'll be with a chick for like, let's say, six months to a year. She plays a part. You propose to her. She gets married, has a wedding, got what she wanted. Now she's withholding sex from you. She's not playing a part. And you know what? I don't cook anymore. There you go. So now you're left with somebody that doesn't want to take part in what you have going on. So, guys, I would say very important. Make sure you have a, a, a lot of experience with females, one. And then, two, make sure time is, is on your side because, like I said before, they can pretend to play a role for a period of time. But you got to see how they really are. And then, also, as well, regarding what my man said earlier, um, when you date a lot of females and you actually have a lot, like a lot of experience, you can see who's fake and who's not, and who's playing games, who's really real. Because a lot of girls nowadays, guys, they're about getting in the bag. And that means, for example, they're from Cardi B, they're from Meg Thee Stallion. Yeah, um, get head. Get, get the bag and then leave. So be very careful about how you do things because if you're not aware of how females operate and what their agenda is, then you can get played. And look, not all girls are, are, are like that, but some are like that. And if you're not careful, you're going to be stepping in that trap and then you're screwed. So I would just say, get a lot of experience. And like, for example, I don't like to brag about it, but I've been with tons of females. And look, you know what it is? You know why I'm so relaxed? Because I understand female nature and I know what it is. It's just a play to get what they want. And if you're not careful enough, they'll play you. So that's just what it is. Definitely. Yep. Uh, we got a couple super chats. Go ahead. Yes, link five bucks. How do you guys feel about Bumble's new rules? Damn, people still use Bumble. Yeah, we don't uh, use. I mean, it's a, link. <laughs> put it in the thing. What uh, yeah. what the new rules are? That's pretty. I don't even know. Um, yeah, I hate Bumble, bro. It's yes, filled with it's, like uh, uh, you know annoying crazy. feminists. It's crazy, uh, bro. Okay, let's find this for nine. Uh-huh. What if she hits you up saying her fr- <clears throat> her and her friend want to come out to the bar and click with them, charge her to the game, or go out and see them? Uh, normally I don't go to a girl, bro. Like. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go to a girl because that, like, unless you have a boy that's like very well versed and you guys are confident in going there and close, that's one thing. But a lot of the time, when she tells you come meet me at this place and she's with her friend, she's doing that to to basically create a buffer so that she doesn't necessarily have to be alone with you and or uh, to mi- minimize your ability to like capitalize and get some you know bedroom fun. Facts. Uh, Frank's another ten bucks. Did what I want happen? No. Uh, then my aim or methods were wrong. I still have something to learn. That is the voice of authenticity, Jordan B. Peterson. Okay. Yeah. Shout out to Jordan Peterson, man. I, I think that he gives some really good rules for young men trying to come up. Uh, what else do we got? No worries. Okay. So, guys, we're going to go a quick little uh, <laughs> deviation from the show. So, it just came to my attention who these dorks are. What's these yep. dudes' names? Uh, playback. Basically, playback. It's, it's two YouTubers. Yeah. One has a million subs and one has 100K subs. Yo, I'm going to say this right now, bro, about, these, about these niggas, man. <laughs> I just looked at this dude. We got a fat mouth breathing retard. <laughs> and then we got another dude that's a dork that hasn't had a haircut in seven months. Yo. Real talk. If you guys want to talk smack like that on the internet, For real. I challenge both you guys. Yeah, pull up. Pull up. We going to box, up. nigga. Yeah, five, oh, five stacks. Five stacks to 10 stacks. Yo. I'll box e- either one of you motherfuckers, bro. Yo, we need to talk yo, in that. We're going to do a roast on these niggas, bro. Yeah, bro. Yo, got, you guys picked the wrong yeah. ones, bro. We are going to cook you boys. Yo, we yo. got this nigga with three chins out here talking <laughs> smack, right? You, bro, you look like you just had a cheeseburger before filming the shot, f- filming the show. And now you want to come out here and talk smack about fresh. And then we got this other dude <laughs> that looks like he's dirty as hell. Just came from a runaway slave kid party. Like, bruh, I hate dusty dudes that talk smack, bro. You guys picked the wrong ones because let me tell you guys something. We ain't YouTubers, bruh. I'll put five stacks right now. Box either one of you guys. Facts. Yo, I just and put it on YouTube and beat you niggas up Yo, I just so com- that everybody else can see that we ain't YouTubers and we we actually walk it like we walk Yo, it, bro. I just commented, bro, you got three chins and your other boy needs a haircut. I'm going to roast y'all niggas on the podcast. Bro, yeah, bro. Like, yo, you guys picked the wrong ones, bro. You guys picked the wrong ones, man. First Curtis Connor, now them next week. You know what I'm saying? We're going to cook Curtis Connor, and then we're going to cook you dudes, too. I hate fat dudes that talk smack. Bro, you out here talking shit on the internet when you should be in the gym exercising, man. You got three chins, stomach hanging over your pants, 
No girl wants to suck your dick. And then we got the dust. The well, other dude on the left hand side. Facts, bro. Like, yo, man. We're, <laughs> yo, you know what? Hold on one sec. <laughs> What's up? Yo, real talk. When I saw this video, I was like, yo, these guys are funny, man. But you know what you know it is, though? Like, I know who I am. I know what I get. I don't have to, like, even, like, take this on seriously. But for you guys, we're going to roast them very well. And this nigga got three chins. Homeboy needs a haircut. Bro, do y'all get laid? Yo, you niggas fucked it. up. I doubt Real it. talk. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are out here watching our YouTube videos, talking smack. About dudes, they don't even know where are these dudes from, bro. Like, where are these? Yo, uh, fresh. Uh, send me the link so uh, I can put out a screen share. Like, yeah. are yo, we really yo, about to just uh, yo, you start know cooking five, these guys yo, right real, now? Five real, quick, real quick, five minute roast <laughs> Fresh and fit, fam. I want you to go on that channel, right, and destroy the, the dislike button. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fight back for us. Yeah. But <laughs> destroy, <laughs> destroy news, that man. dislike button, bro. And like, yo, <laughs> and yo, like my comment on on that video because I just supposed to comment. It should be, should, should be, should be pretty funny. Robert, uh, yo, Hold Harris. Uh, I'm not getting that free smoke. Yo, man, like, yo, real talk. Dark link. Oh, Those snap. two dorks, I'm telling you, either one of them, I'll put a 5,000. You come and you box me, fat boy. Yeah, Chris. You come Chris, and you box me. It's in the chat, Chris. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm trying We're going to gonna live stream the boxing match. Me whooping your ass for talking smack, bro, yeah. on the internet. And I'm in the gym now, bro, so let's go. Like, Warriors in the wonder 10 bucks. Yes, Teddy Sandwiches, Lovers to Shreds. Bro, uh, like, yo, I'm like, I'm, how do you have the audacity yo, yo, to talk Frank smack Castle on the internet? Fact. Bro, home, Homeboy said I DM 100 tricks today. Bro, chicks DM me. DM me. Like, bro, what are you talking about? Holy bro, crap. This, this is fat funny. dude, I'm telling you off rip, he probably smashes no chicks. And if he does, he has a chick that's probably bro. dealing with him just because maybe some clout, whatever. These dudes have bro. 85K subs. They've probably been on YouTube for a few years. Bro, you guys are bums, man. You guys are Yo, dusty bums. What if up? If I was thirsty, right? Yeah. I would be this chill. I would be this, be this relaxed. Yeah. I have girls on my, on my Instagram every single day. Bro, my leg comes over a thousand. Dude, I'm not worried about females. <laughs> DM 100 girls a day for what? I got business to take, take hey, care of. We, we uh, show receipts on. And we on show Christmas. receipts, bro. Bro, Let, yo, fat boy, <laughs> bring some girls on your show, bro. Exactly. Mark, the strap, you ain't bringing smoke, no chicks. Shot. You ain't bringing no chicks on your show, Nobody, bro. bro. Only King chicks Chris. you gotta bring on your show are bakers, nigga, for you to <laughs> eat a cake on the air. <laughs> oh, you guys picked funny. the wrong ones, man. The wrong ones, man. That's just funny, bro. I just find it funny, man. The wrong ones. And you know what? We're going to do some research on you boys, and then we're going to come with the dirt, and then we're going to come and cook you boys live on air. Yes. Don't worry. Now you guys got your day. You guys picked the wrong ones, bro. Facts. And again, $5,000, <laughs> right? Yo, If you this. guys want to box. Look bro. at these dudes, bro. <laughs> 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 Yo, Our these bums, dudes be bro. on some BS, bro. They're like, bums, bro. Of, uh, level 80 mage in World of Warcraft. <laughs> <laughs> Your boys Yo, guys, games nowadays, man. We are not YouTubers, okay? I mean, we are now because we're giving you guys yeah. content, but we were doing shit before YouTube. Yeah. Oh, so man. these yeah. dweebs are just YouTubers. They're nobodies. All they got is followers. That's all they got, bro. So yeah. That's all it really is. And we're going to surpass these bums, too, bro. Oh, somebody said this is Fat Albert and Buddy Love. <laughs> 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 oh man, yo, all right, King Chris 20 bucks. Guys, go back and watch the five things every man should have before entering out in OTR. Yeah, be 35 years old, minimum 35 late count, make six figures, etc. Shout out to the Punisher Myron Gaines, the Prince of Barbados, yeah, bro, French Prince CEO, and ACP. Oh, Aaron Chris Potts, that's me. Yeah, <laughs> let's get it. Oh, so, yo, people are commenting on, on, on my post. I said, bruh, you got three chins, and your other homeboy needs a haircut. <laughs> Gonna roast y'all on the podcast. I don't DM 100 girls, the girls DM me. Yeah, yeah, bro. So, Yo, listen, these guys want to talk smack about, oh, Fresh is out here, DM hundreds of girls, blah, blah, bro. We're bringing girls on the show almost every night, guys. Facts. And almost every night. And y'all, yo, if y'all watched the last podcast, a girl even said, yo, we smashed Fresh and Myron. Like, <laughs> bro, like, we're not some yeah, dweebs on yeah, the internet, she, bro. Like, yeah, she was like, yo, uh, smile. you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, these dudes, yo, you know what, guys? Stay tuned. Yes. We are going to cook them, boys. We're yo. going to take the hats off for now Ooh. and get back to regular schedule Facts. programming. Facts. Let me say one thing, man. Like, yo, Myron saw the video. He didn't even wait a second. He said, yo, that's my boy Fresh. Now we're coming at the next. Yeah. You know what? That's what it means to have high value friends that are RP aware because they're going to defend you I, no matter what. I'll keep what. it real. If, if me, <laughs> I probably shouldn't be saying this on the air, but if, if me and Chris caught those guys in person, 
<laughs> there'll be some violence, bro. Yo. Yo, like <laughs> Chris is a goon, man, from uh, Opalaka. Like, there'll be some violence, yo, Chris bro. Chris don't play, bro. You know, you know what I'm saying? Chris like is gangster. You know, we chased some dudes down in Winwood on Halloween night. <laughs> that was talking smack. Hey, yo, who's talking smack, man? Yeah, man. I'm you know what I'm saying? And yo, ask ask anyone that comes on the show. Ask Rolo. Ask John. Ask uh, Locario. Ask Hotep. Yeah. We are about this life, bro. Like bro. we shoot back, and not only will we make fun of you. But we'll also beat you up if we need to. <laughs> so this fat boy, I'm going to clown the crap out of oh, you because, bro, the fact that you have the audacity to talk smack when you yeah. look like that, bruh, you get the man. Yo, yo. They, they, <laughs> they in internet famous, bro. That's you it, know bro. what? Like, gotcha, bitch. Now you guys are going to get cooked. But anyway, back to the regular schedule programming. <laughs> so we're talking about just to recap before we fried those dorks. Um, current globalized sexual marketplace. Women of all the leverage. Why you must be selfish, guys. You got to date like women do. Yep. Um, you got to be. <clears throat> You got to avoid uh, getting used, right? We talked about how girls try to get you on a foodie date and or bring a friend on a date. Uh, flaking is inevitable, guys. You got to understand it and work the volume to compensate yep. for it. Become high value. Become high value. Unlike those two idiots, right? You actually have to take a care as to how you look. You can't be fat. You can't have Bruh. disheveled hair all over the place. Look like a <laughs> dusty dude. You can't be high on camera all the time. Yep. Whatever you do, don't be like those two idiots, right? Yes, sir. And then uh, fat Albert. the fat Albert, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 My man, yo, that guy breathes through his mouth, bro. Yeah, He's a guy, mouth breather. He might 1, have a heart attack one day, bro. Facts, man. My right. man out here, if he caught COVID, he would die. <laughs> he would literally, he'd be gone. Yo, <laughs> that, you know what I'm saying? That value. You know what I'm saying? If, he, if that dude caught COVID, bro. Fatality. There you go. Man, so um, she works a lot of volume. <laughs> work a lot of volume. Mm -hmm. uh, and then obviously the five things we said you need to have in place. Yes. 50 lay count, $100,000 a year, six months of savings, uh, 35 years old, yep. and be in shape. Be in shape. That way you'll be an entry-level high-value male, and women are going to respect your authority. Guys, okay? being in shape is important because if you look good, you feel good, Confidence is there, and girls could feel that energy and that vibe, and then they want you. Exactly, because so. you're going to come in when you talk to the girls as basically in outcome independent, which yep. is a very rare trait. A lot of guys are outcome dependent, and they care a lot about what the girl says. They're hinging on every one of her words. Yeah. Bro, when I show up on dates, I tell chicks straight up, yeah, I date multiple girls. I do what I want, blah, blah, blah. And then I ask them a lot of the questions up front to get them off, uh, to get them on edge. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You need to treat it like it's a job interview, and she's applying to work for you guys. You know what I'm saying? That's when women come correct. Uh, okay. Let's answer some of those questions that came up from before, Chris, uh, which we have those saved guys. Um, let's see here. What else? Uh, was there anything else fresh you want to talk about before we hit the hit the questions? No, nah, man. Okay. Um, whew, so, I hope you guys enjoyed that little deviation from. That was uh, fun. Man. That was fun. <laughs> that was fun. I don't mind cooking fat boys. You know what I'm saying? And he already has a lot of grease on his skin. I could tell. So it's going to be an easy sizzle. Yep. So, uh, Chris, what's the first question? Yes, we have uh, from. Robert Snares, uh, do, you, do you guys suggest walking out if it's uh, safety? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. So in that case, guys, the girl had a safety objection at first. She met me. Her friend obviously saw the situation, wanted to get up and leave. I told her, don't leave because I was going to leave anyway. But normally, um, guys, yeah, I mean, you just need to make sure if the girl brings a friend, man, honestly, it's going to be a dub a lot of the times, yeah. especially if she does it surprisingly like yeah. she shows up and sh you show up and you thought it was and gonna be one-on-one -on -one and the girl's there if she tells you if she tells you it's one thing but she randomly brings brings her friend bro that's dis it's a dub a dis disrespect disrespect off yeah. rip, so so i will walk out i'll yeah, leave for real i'll, I'll leave. leave yep so i the only reason i showed up on that was so i can give you guys a funny story guys time. the only way you bring a friend is if she says beforehand hey i want to bring a friend with me all right cool bet i'm gonna bring my homeboy let's slide yeah that's it yeah if she shows up running on a date just leave, bro. Yeah. If, yeah. If she doesn't tell you, bro, she doesn't announce it, it's disrespect. Yep. Now, you could finesse the situation, right? Uh, but for the most part, it's going to be a dub. Yep. Next one. All right. Chris? So we have one from, uh, let's see. Yeah, Georgia. Uh, dig the podcast, guys. Random question. Would you, would you consider watching chicks Insta stories for free attention and validation? No. Uh, and Fresh could talk about this in detail as far as like not giving girls free attention on Instagram. Yeah. Guys, girls so, get showered on Instagram. Go ahead, Fresh. Take it away. No, no. 100%. So... Instagram, right, guys, is a haven for blue pill scent mangina <laughs> and free attention from guys. So what you want to do is, right, is here's a perfect example. What girls will do, right, to get your attention, they'll like three of your posts, right? They'll follow you. Oh, no, wait, you're not messaging 100 girls fresh? <laughs> I thought, bro, I thought you were messaging... Yeah, but, but it's funny, bro. It's funny. These, these girls are clowns. Bro. Yeah, they, bro. They don't know me, so I'm cool with it, bro. Yeah. They can talk to all the smart, whatever. So girls will like three of your posts, right? They'll comment on your pictures and then they'll follow you, right? That's how they get, that's how they get your attention. Guys, however, they'll like everything and they comment saying, oh, baby, you look so good, whatever. And then they watch all their stories. And guys, girls look at who watches their stories all the time because they want to say, okay, who's watching me? Is the guy I like watching me? 
If not, okay, cool. But when you write me to go for the first time, <clears throat> you're trying to take her on a date. What I what I like to say is, you know what? For example, make sure you set the, the date right away and don't watch her stuff because what's gonna happen is she's like, damn, this guy doesn't even, even look at my stories. Then when you, then when you when you get on a date and you have a good time, whatever you, you do your thing, then after that you can watch the stories because you don't want to be too thirsty at the very beginning. So I would say at the very beginning, don't watch all our stories. Maybe watch one or two, if anything. But set the date, go on the date, and then after, if you want yep. to, you can look at our story. Pro tip, guys: when her story comes up at the top of your reel, and we talked about this on DMs on demand, yeah, you hold down the button on her story and you hide it. Click mute story and post. Mm -hmm. That way, you don't see her stuff. Because I know some of you guys are gonna want to simp. Yeah. Oh, let me like her. Let me get her attention. Like, no, no, no. Just save yourself from yourself. Go ahead and mute all her stuff so you don't see it. Facts. And then after. You smash or something like that, then you yeah. could give a like here or there. But bro, let me right. tell you guys something. The dudes that are smashing chicks don't like their stuff, don't yeah. comment on their bro. stuff. That's the real, real deal, talk. man. All the G's that get these females, bro, they don't comment on like like the post. They yeah. just smash and dash. Like, yeah, bro, facts. Who's doing that? Stuff, so bro? you don't want to be that guy, guys. So yeah. just do that's a little pro tip right there. Just click, hold down the button on her thing when you see her story pop up on the reel and just hit mute story and post. So that way you don't see her stuff and you're not like, you know, almost like, oh, should I do it? Whatever. Um, there was another one. Uh, I think Robert asked a question about cold approaching on college campus. Yes, that's a fantastic way to meet girls. Yeah. And remember, man, when you're on a college campus, you can be a little bit more. Uh, how do I say this? It's not going to be as strange to cold approach a girl on a college campus if you're a student because you yeah. guys already have the the platform, which yep. is a college campus. And there's a little bit of familiarity because now you guys instantly have a commonality that you could talk about. Hey, uh, you know, what year are you? Oh, I'm a freshman. Oh, I'm a sophomore. Blah. Oh, cool. Like, what are you majoring in? Blah. And then you can kind of take that generic conversation and then segue it into like a man to woman conversation. Right. But it makes opening easier because you guys already have a foundation of some kind of similarity. Exactly. So approaching girls on a college campus is, is actually a good way to do it. But we talk about this on our Patreon, guys, yep. how to run college game because running game as a college student is a different. completely different game yep. than running game as a regular dude. It's very based around your status. And we talk about that uh, on our Patreon extensively, patreon.com slash fresh, fresh fit, fit. how to get girls in college. Okay. Cause I, I was a former division one athlete in college. I went to Northeastern in Boston and I pretty much mastered this stuff on how to make sure that I was in a position where I was able to get girls to come to me, especially since I didn't have uh, the amount of time and uh, you know, to just go to random parties during the week. I had practice every morning at 5 AM. So I had to be very uh, cautious and very savvy with my time. Uh, go ahead, Chris. Do we got another one? And then uh, we have one last one that was uh, behind. Yeah. Uh, KS49, first date, do's and don'ts. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know so, what? Okay. Go ahead, Fresh. Go ahead. Real quick. First date, uh, do's. I'll just say two. You can say two as well. Yeah. Uh, so, do's, definitely make sure you wear cologne is one. Yep. And then two, make sure you plan the day out. Yes. And you let, you, 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 you take control. And then don'ts, I'll say two as well. Um, Don't talk her ear off on the date. And another uh, don't is also um how to put this don't take her on dinner dates if you're a novice there you go yeah um i would say uh make sure that logistics are set up for you to win yep uh as far as it do because if you don't have the logistics set up to you to win you're gonna take an l and here's the thing a lot of girls are gonna put you in a position if you let the girl dictate the date guys yep. she's gonna make you meet her halfway she's gonna tell you let's go here whatever and she's gonna basically set it up for you to spend money time and attention without her having to give you sex if you leave it up to a girl to her own devices Especially oh, yes. for a first date, guys. For a first date, she's always going to put it in a way where she's going to finesse something out of you. So you need to control the frame. You need to control the date, especially on a first date, because how you enter the relationship with the girl is how you're going to end. So you need to come in on that assertive, dominant wave, and you need to have her come to you, guys. We always advocate that you never drive or travel to a woman, bro, ever. She's got to come to you. Uh, and then... Number two, uh, do I would say is just make sure that you have a couple of locations in mind that you yeah. have some social value at. So let's say it's a bar that you go to all the time, you know, a bartender, whatever. That social proof, guys, goes a long way. When yep. she sees you shaking hands and kissing babies, and not literally kissing babies, but like, you know, shaking hands with people uh, and social the staff proof. and stuff, it's enormous social proof. And yep. here's the thing you guys got to remember when a girl meets you on a first date, her anxiety is high. She doesn't yes. know if you're a serial killer, you're a weirdo. She doesn't know, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So you got to handle those objections off rip by yeah. having social proof. Her seeing you talk to other people, being greeted uh, favorably, et cetera, says a lot about you without you having to ever say a word. Yes. Okay. So bring her to locations that you're local. Always treat your bartender well to these places that you go to so that when you come, they have a drink ready to go for you right or they're the giving you, they're skipping they're you, you know, you're skipping the line. All of this stuff says a lot about you. And guys, if you're following us on Instagram, Fresh Fat Miami, all those things that you see us at the bar, 
the bartenders know us very well. Yes. So when, when we bring our dates, they're like, yo, you guys are regulars here. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You know what I'm saying we add value. So that's yeah, what it is. So it says a lot about you, man. Yep. Uh, because here's the thing. Girls always get praised when they go out at night and get yeah. attention from, you know, uh, bar bartenders or like, Body you know, guards. some kind of bar staff or whatever. Yeah. But as a guy, if you get it, it goes much further yep. because let's keep it real. For a dude to be able to get some kind of attention and respect you in a nightclub or bar, you got to be a somebody. You got to, you, you know, I have one do and one don't. Uh, uh, and then and, and then a don't. Personally, I say don't take a girl out on a dinner date until you watch our Patreon video on how to do it correctly. There you go. With, with you first break it down properly. Yeah, there's and there's a couple strategies to do. And then another don't. What would you say is another don't? Uh, honestly, man, uh, don't drive one. to her, bro. Right Never yeah. drive to her, do guys. To her. Escalate on the date. Oh, escalate, escalate. The date and don't waste so much time. There you go. Yeah, you got to escalate. You got to escalate uh, from the beginning, guys. Yeah. Like yes. a lot of guys make this big mistake where they'll try to kiss a girl. No, nah. like at the end, randomly, and, or randomly, yeah. or, or at the end of the date, and they haven't touched the whole time. You should guys. be touching her thigh, touching her on her back. You know what I'm saying, bam, Sh shoulders, everything like that. Yeah, slowly but surely, not right away, but you know what I'm saying. From the beginning point of you, you sitting on her at a table next to her, touch her. her thigh. She should be anticipating. Yeah, yes. you kissing her, guys. Like yeah. it shouldn't be like. Surprise, motherfucker. She should be ready for it, and it should be a foregone conclusion yep, because be. you've already escalated correctly that the next logical um, you know, move would be a kiss. Does and that look, make sense, guys? She'll tell you too, Liv. He's looking at you eye to eye. Exactly. Looking, looking at, at your lips. Yep. You know what I'm stuff, saying? Bro. All these things. All right, uh, link, oh, you have link five bucks. Uh, guys are not allowed to, to say, oh, I'm Bumble. Guys are not allowed to say they do not want to date big women now. <laughs> See, bro, <laughs> this goes back to what I've been saying, guys. Like, and I had a, a discussion with somebody about this, uh, yeah. that we live in a guy in a sexual society. Guys, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, understand this. This is why it's so important mm -hmm. to have these things in place where you're high value and you know your worth because most women are not used to a guy having standards and more importantly, acting on those standards. Most girls, man, no matter how fat they are, rude, obnoxious, uh, unsufferable, they're championed as being strong and independent. So when you come along and you let her know, hey, that behavior isn't acceptable, blah, blah, blah. She's going to respect you guys. And when she respects you first, that's going to build the attraction because most guys don't have the balls to stand up to women, bro. So when you're out here with standards, it says a lot about you because nowadays as a man, if you have standards, you're considered a misogynist. But women, if they have standards, it's okay. Uh, you know, know your worth, baby girl, whatever it is, no matter how, you know, uh, how low value she actually is. Uh, what else? Yes, uh, CJ, five bucks. What are the job interview questions you ask them on the first day? Excellent, excellent. So what I like to ask is this. Um, I'll ask, number one, what where she's from. Work? What do you do for work? <laughs> right? Um, and then I'll ask her, hey, are your parents still together? What's your relationship like with your father? Do you have any siblings? And I'll make her start telling about telling me her life story. You know what I'm saying? Um, and the thing is, is that when you ask these questions, right, what she's basically, what, even though she's answering them, she knows subconsciously, like, yo, this guy's like kind of vetting me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that automatically makes you attractive, guys, because most dudes never qualify women, bro. Nope. They never do it. You know, and for those that are wondering, hey, what's qualifying a woman? It's basically when you're putting her on her back foot and making her answer your questions and see if she's worthy of you, guys. Most guys try to impress girls and say, I'm worthy. Uh, you know, pick me, pick me. No, 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 no. You need to let the chick feel like she's winning you over. That's when she's going to value the relationship. She needs to qualify to you guys. So when you ask these types of questions, right, especially on a first date, She's going to know in the background mind subconscious like, yo, is this guy vetting me? What's going on? This is like a job interview. And if she tells you that, wow, I feel like this is a job interview. Good job. Because now she's going to understand that she hasn't earned your affection yet. You understand? And that's when girls come correct is when they have to earn your attention and affection. Because so many girls are used to getting it for free. Uh, what else do we got? Hey, uh, Rafi. Uh, there we Good go. questions, Bucks. guys. Yep. Shout out to the mods. Good work, Ralph. <laughs> Thank you, Ralph. Thank I you, appreciate, man, appreciate it. it, bro. Uh, CJ, five bucks. Do your rule change out or alter at all if you're dealing with non-Western girls from other countries like Turkey, it's yes. Europe, or South Africa? Yeah, I yes, mean, they do. Because yeah. Yeah, go ahead. First off, off the bat, most of these girls from other countries, they don't understand your jokes. They don't understand your, your banter, your back and forth. So you might you might turn them off by being too negging or too, too um, you know what I'm saying, uh, forward. So a lot of times you have to play the game how they were, how they're raised when they come over here, if they're brand new. If they're cultured here and they, they've been here for a couple of years, then no. But if they're brand new here on vacation, you'll play the game a little bit different because they're not used to like how we do things here. Yeah, like so. you, you just can't be as harsh with your negs with like foreign chicks. Yeah. But guys, remember, women might have different hardware, but the software is always the same. Hypergamy is, is there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's just that um, it's going to be more or less pronounced depending on where the girl's from, her so you know how she was raised, etc. So with foreign girls, 
it's the same, bro. Like, it's just that with foreign women, they're going to be a little bit more pleasant on the front end a lot of the time. You know what I mean? Yep. Uh, because especially if like you're in a foreign country, let's say you're in Colombia or whatever, you're an American citizen, you're going to have higher perceived status off rip. So they're going to come correct off the beginning versus when you're in the United States dealing with like some of these bimbos, they're going to like, you know, uh, be disrespectful or they're going to have a little bit more masculine traits. But in general, guys, remember the, the hardware might be different, but the software is always the same. Always the same. Uh, Angry Bosch, five bucks. Peace and love to the crew. Thank you so much, Angry Bosch. Appreciate it. Uh, Jama Sama, 10 bucks. Love the energy, Myron. I called the feeling on roast and asked for advice about the flaky shy chick. Called her out, took my power, and remained in frame. She was shook, blocked her after the third strike. Yeah, man. I mean, yeah, you shouldn't even get to three strikes, bro. Like, yo, you guys, these women need to feel like they're on thin ice with you at all times. So that's when they come correct. Uh, Adrian D. Uh, 499 is a CGA collab coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> He's been requested a lot. A yeah, lot, we'll, man. We'll, we'll uh we'll get him on the show, guys. Don't worry. Shout yeah. out to the coach gang, man. We 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 like and respect coach the coach gang Greg Adams in the buildings. You know what I'm saying? Anyone that's a content creator in the space, guys, yeah, we respect them. You know, I mean, it, it ain't we, we don't hate, man. Facts. All right, uh, so so been bro, two bucks. Don't waste your time or money going for the kill. A S A P. <laughs> there you go. Uh, can Crystal Bucks, your time is most viable. Don't waste it, gents. Well yeah, said, guys, brother, if a girl well wastes said. your time, guys, it's your fault, not hers. Yep. You know what I'm saying? She can only finesse you of your time and money if you allow it, bro. Yep. Bobby Sour Juice, five bucks. Don't you hate the <laughs> don't you hate the cock blocking uh <laughs> box bodied fat friend suit? Yeah, bro. it happens, bro. It's a part of the game, it's especially the when game, you run man. night game. It's it is what it's it is, man. It's just a part of the game, my friends. Cock blocks are always gonna come. All so right. uh let's open up the phone lines. It's open. Yeah. yeah. Phone lines are open, guys. Uh, go ahead and call into the show. Um, as always, Super Chats take priority over uh, phone calls. Yeah. But if you Super Chat, we'll answer your question right here. We're going to open this up for Q&A for a bit. Uh, the call in number, guys, is 515-605-9740. Uh, okay, let's, uh, okay, we'll answer the Super Chat real quick, then we'll put the number back up. Uh, uh, Moolis, two bucks. She will take her seek. Oh, uh, secrets to the grave. <laughs> uh, bet well. Yeah, facts, bro. Facts. It, it, yeah, they they will. They'll take those three sums and getting trains ran on them and Cancun and all that stuff. They will take that with them to the grave. Uh, Chris, nice. can we just throw that number up uh, real quick for the people? Um, guys, number 515-605-9740 if you want to call into the show. Yep. You got any questions on uh, vetting a girl, on dating, on um, whatever. Oh, real quick. We got a little distracted from uh, Fat Boy and his friend with the shitty haircut. Um... Guys, as far as the LTR goes, vetting for LTR, we agree with Lucario on that. One year to a year and a half of you dealing with her yep. and making sure that she's compliant, submissive, and follows your lead, okay? And the reason why we say you need to vet the girl for at least a year or so is because a lot of girls are going to be like, you know what I'm saying, future, mask off when they know that they got the relationship locked in and they're going to show you a whole other side. So for you to be able to avoid that, you're going to have to put her through her paces and let her know that she's got to earn that position of serious long-term girlfriend okay so and she's got to come to you guys for the relationship do not and i mean again <laughs> do not ask the girl to be your girlfriend you understand under no circumstance do you ever ask a girl to be your girlfriend she's got to come to you asking for the relationship right um what else uh we got okay oh okay so we got a couple of phone uh let's hit 408 408 what's up man Yo, what's good, fresh and fit? Welcome to the show, man. How are you? Welcome, dude. Pretty good, pretty good. Just uh I don't know, what do you guys like what do you guys think about red pill in terms of being like a blessing in disguise? Because ever since I became red pill, uh I've kind of became immune to a lot of the bullshit, but also there comes consequences to that as well, you know? Yeah. yeah. Uh fresh, you wanna take it first? Yeah, man. Um honestly, bro, it's a blessing, but it's also a curse because yeah. now you can't unsee all the stuff that was there before. So I would say, look at it in terms of like, you know what? I know things that other people don't know. And now that I know this, no this knowledge, I'm going to use it to my advantage because obviously as, as well, you're going to see things that you don't want to see, but just knowing that it's going to benefit you more should be the main uh, goal here. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, guys, um, yeah, one of the things that I'm, uh... go ahead. Sorry. No, what I was going to tell you was you need to understand that, having this knowledge man you don't have this knowledge to hate women bro like yep. like i really want to like confirm that because a lot of guys take this knowledge and they use it to hate women guys you learn this stuff so that you don't hate women for what they're never going to be to you right mm -hmm. shout out to uh rollo tomas you know get his book both of them the rational male okay he talks about this yes you learn this stuff guys so that you don't hate women for what they'll never be to you a lot of guys think that girls are going to love them like their mom idealistically no man 
Women don't love that way. Women no. love you always on a contingency that you provide some kind of value to them, bro. That's the reality. They love opportunistically, man. Cool. Are you good? My caller? All right. Yeah, no, no. Just, I, I felt like what you were saying was important, so I didn't want to interrupt. Okay. Well, hey, man. Thank you for calling into the show. Hey, thanks, good brother. question, bro. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Cool. All right. Peace. All right. We got some. Uh, let's uh, hit the super chat real quick. Yep. Oh, just walk for nine. What's your take on paying models to do photo shoots to up your Instagram game and create social proof? Uh, okay. Um, honestly, bro, <laughs> dude, unless you're like a rapper or like, uh, I mean, dude, honestly, man, get your own girls, bro. Why you got to pay, pay models, dude? Yeah. Just bring, bring your plates, man, and take pictures yeah. with them. And uh, girls will take free pictures if, if yeah. you have a camera, too. You know, unless, like, you're, like, you know, unless you're, like, doing a video shoot or something like that. Yeah. And this is, like, your profession. This is your job. Cool. Go ahead and do it. Because real talk, when you pay the girls, you're not going to deal with BS, right? Guys, all the girls we take pictures with, we, the girls that we're smashing. Yeah. We're not paying for them, so. Yeah. But it depends, man, on, on your business, what it is. Uh, we need a little bit more context, man, on your stuff. Like, if yeah. it's for your business or whatever, I get it. You want to pay them so you don't deal with the BS, right? They show up on time. They don't fuck up, whatever. Yeah. But. It really depends on what you got going on. If you're just trying to get a, a an IG going with you know that shows some value, bro, you don't got to resort to all that. Yeah. Uh, what do we got? We got a four three. A four three. Yup. A four three. What's the caller? Hey. Hello. What's up, man? Welcome to the show. Yeah, we can yeah hear you. this is this is this is TJ Smith. Okay. Okay. But um, yeah, I just wanted to comment on something that uh, Red Till Mike said on one of you guys' videos. Sure. He said something about um, when the girl asks who hurt you, it means what what woman dumped you because you were too pathetic to keep her by your side. I have kind of a follow-up to that. It's like if you're like stupid enough to try to explain to her like who actually did hurt you, if someone did, you know, the response you'll get is probably something along the lines of, you know, you probably deserved it or, you know, you shouldn't be feeling this way or something like that. So, but cool, man. Okay. Well, Hey man, thanks for your point. Uh, appreciate it. Thanks, Thank you for calling into the show, man. Thanks brother. Yeah. Super chat here. Uh, you too. I'll probably write a novel about you guys or something. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. Thanks, right. Write a novel of us cooking the, the fat boy. Uh, Cause I'm about to really cook him, bro. <laughs> Dude, they picked the man. These dudes picked the wrong Jake ones, man. Make five bucks. Okay. Hearts next. So work sometimes with foreign girls. Julian Blanc uses call phone girls dogs. Uh, there's CM oh in the country too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, uh, yeah. Julian got 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 destroyed though because he went on yeah. that talk show and he totally let that dude bully him, bro. Yeah, bro. Bro, so. if they, if, man, I would, I would, man, I wish yeah. they would put me on the reel in one of these shows so I can it's like over, bro. <laughs> we don't bet we don't fold over here fresh and fit, bro. We don't bet we don't fold like we we say what's on our mind. We ain't gonna let Lonnie Love bully us, bro. Now, even though she looks like a linebacker, I ain't scared of her. Okay, we got right, 734 on, on the line. Uh, <laughs> e Honda. <laughs> hey. Yo, what up? What's up, man? Fresh and fit. Yo, it's me again. I called in on a Philly on roast. Um, okay. But I wanted to give in give in some uh, brief anecdotal evidence about uh, what I asked for advice last time. And I know you said, yeah, three times is way too many strikes. You know, I get it. I, I learn. You know, I never lose. I either win or I learn. In this case, I learn. But um, I want to give an analogy to Pokemon, you know, like, Sure. I think stumbling onto a version, you know, like they're like a shiny Pokemon, you know, like I threw a couple of Pokeballs at it and she was smacking them away. So I'm like, after that third Pokeball, I ran away like a fucking Pokemon trainer, you know, like I wasn't dealing with that shit. But yeah. yep. um, I gave her, you know, I gave, I hold her accountable and she was really shook. I remained a frame. I remained stoic. Uh, I remained uh, uh, rational. And, you know, she really couldn't get to me. I know she's hurting right now. I know she's in a void. She lost a good thing, you know, with her loss, not mine. Well, bro, here's the number one thing you got to remember, bro. That, bro, a chick that's a virgin, that's like a missingo, bro. That yeah. shit, that she's missing because that, that shit is not true, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Back you, then, probably, but you, not now. Yeah, yeah bro. bro. Like, yo, Future any chick updates. that sits there and tries to tell you she's a virgin, bro, more than likely. The lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> like, yeah, these chicks cap, bro. You never really know, bro. You never really yeah, know. Bro, let, let me tell you something, man. Don't believe what girls tell you, yeah. bro. About When it comes to, like, them talking about their purity or any of that, man. Yeah. It's 99% of the time, yeah. it's a cap, bro. It's a cap, it's a cap, it's a cap. Because women know deep down, Indeed. even even the biggest promiscuous chicks are still going to try to sell you purity yep. if they see that you're dumb enough to buy it. Because mm -hmm. they know oh, that yeah. they won't be able to lock down a high-value guy for you know for being promiscuous. It's just the reality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
it's, yeah, it's the reality for sure. Um, you know, and she didn't tell me this for sure. I vetted her out, you know, I did my research. Like I said, she's a late bloomer. She wasn't really pretty until like two years ago. And, you know, the way she acted. Bro, ugly like, chicks are still getting smashed out, bro. Yeah. Um, that, a, lo- a girl's looks don't mean anything, don't mean bro. Nothing, bro. Like, yo, ugly chicks are still getting smashed yeah. out. Bro, sure. there are girls that are fives. <laughs> Real talk. There's girls that are fives yeah. that will run circles around me and fresh as far as having like options and yep. dudes that are hitting them up, whatever. Yep. Like That's the crazy. highest value That's guys. Crazy. The top tier men still don't get as many options as a girl that's like a five, bro. Yep. That's how skewed the marketplace is. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you. Yeah, it is. All yeah, right, thanks for putting me on game, though, Ryan. I appreciate it. Y'all keep it up. No worries, Probably, man. Keep tuning in, bro. And, uh, you know, we're going to keep dropping this knowledge and we're going to keep making fun of fat dudes like that dork over there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, right, those dudes are tripping. Yeah, yeah no, they're about to get cooked. <laughs> all right, bro. We're going to roast them. All right. Sure. Yeah, we're going to roast them. All right. Uh, we got. We should, we should do it on Friday. No. We're gonna, it's, well, Curtis Connor though, man. Yeah, Curtis Connor, oh yeah, bro. we'll roast them boys maybe on Monday or something. Maybe uh, three one four uh, Monday night roast, <laughs> roast the pig, <laughs> fat boy. All right, uh, what do we got? Uh, three one five. Three one five. We got three one five. You in the house? Hello, hello. Yo, what's up, caller? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yes. we got you. We can hear you. Yo, what's up, fellas? I really appreciate your show. Huge fan, fresh and fit. This this shit's legendary. Thank oh, you, man. I just Thank you. A quick question about um, social media situations. Like, I'm fresh out of college, I have a professional job. Sure. I don't make the most money right now, but you know, I'm building my way up. That's fine. 25, you know, you got to start somewhere. I was wondering, what are like the fundamentals of this social media game? Are you? Are we? Am I posting photos to? Um, make myself look cool or am i like how am i trying to source girls from social media as like a beginner in social media okay Go very ahead, good fresh. question man so i'm gonna make it short but hop on the patreon bro for, for like more details but the main thing here is that for example you're not trying to look cool bro you're trying to be yourself so what does that mean that means you're, yeah. you're your own brand so you see me by lambo you see me by like the pool but with girls that's my lifestyle that's just how, how i am so that's me you need to be you now, I don't know what you do for fun. I don't know what your hobbies are. But whatever you do, all I'm saying to you guys, me and Myron, is that I want you to put it on Instagram in a way that can display high value for you. That means, for example, let's say you're a painter, right? You got art and you, you paint very well. Do perfect. Either put up content with you painting a nice painting or, for example, you, you next to your picture with a nice pose, stuff like that. So you're not trying to look cool. You're trying to make sure that you can display yourself as, as a high value guy, whatever, whatever, whatever you do. And then once that's done, use stories to kind of like showcase that to even further extent because most people guys they look at stories more than they they look at posts so that has a lot more engagement as well so the main thing here bro is that you want to have good pictures on your on your uh profile either like a a nice backdrop maybe by a pool by like a a nice lake by a nice um building or paintings uh you also want to have good stories and make sure as well your instagram name has no dots no numbers just one name off right because that is your brand for example on the dash yeah, <laughs> make sure there's no other dashes there. Um, but yeah, the point uh, uh, caller is that you have a good Instagram that displays high value, and you're being yourself. You're not being somebody fake. Because trust me, if, if if you're fake, right, and a chick shows up, she's gonna sense that off the bat and says, "Wait, you you just catfish me." So same thing with females. But for the most part, bro, it's about displaying high value, the best way that you can, and that's it. Bang bang. Um, right, that's awesome. Good I question, really bro. It. Get you're on welcome, the Patreon brother. because yeah, we go into way more detail on this, yeah. guys. Guys, on and our guys, Patreon, go we're, ahead. We're also going to re-release the course as well because I put up a post today on our, on oh, our okay. Instagram. Yep. Uh, maybe like uh, March? Or, yeah, or, we'll re-release it probably in March, yeah. Because yeah. there's been a lot of Requests. demand for DMs on demand, which is yeah. kind of funny. But yeah, we will re-release it, guys. Uh, we got the high-value course. It's going to come out. Yes. It's done. We just need to put out the, the stuff. Yeah. We got to do some things behind the scenes. Me, Chris, yeah. and Fresh. Uh, right. So yeah. <laughs> thank you, caller. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Let's hit the... I think, uh, super guys, chat. Super Chats come first. So uh, if, if you guys want to oh. make sure you get your question answered, uh, Super Chat. I know this guy. Okay. Um, Marvel Bishop. Punch ninety nine. I'm at Fresh. Much love from the 2714. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's... We live in the same building. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, hey. Oh, okay. You, know, you, know, you know the really tall guy? Uh, oh, yeah. Marvel. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. an entre- entrepreneur as well. So okay. shout, shout out to him. Hey, thank you, Marvel. Appreciate uh, that, bro. Marvel, I know who you are. To the tall man crew. Love and <laughs> respect from a fellow podcaster. Let's link soon. Man, hey, y- man. Thank you. I appreciate that, bro. Y'all niggas too tall, bro. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. I'm not that. Uh, depends. Six, <laughs> uh, you know, 6'3", not that Snake, tall. Jake, but... five bucks. Don Sharp. I got, I got contacted by a producer for Dr. Phil to come on to a show. You guys should get that contact info and bring 
red pill mainstream. Yeah, I mean, bro, I'll, I'll tell yeah. you this. Like, if, if they try to bring us on one of these shows, bro, my we, we, number one, we're going to have our guys filming, right, yeah. to make sure that they don't try to edit it and make us look dumb. Yep. And then number two, I don't have a problem, like, you know, going on that show and telling Dr. Phil that he's full of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, there a lot of go. these people... Bro, you want to know who loses with mainstream media? Who really loses? The women lose. Women lose. Because let me tell you guys something. Women don't hit reality. They don't see the dark realities of their bad choices until it's too late. Yep. When they're 40, can't get a guy, and it's too late for them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they sold a bag of lies. They sold a bag of lies, They, they get bro. upset when it, it comes to time because they can't get any, any man that they want. Exactly. So, tough. so, like I always say, men live in a fact-based reality. Women live in a bizarre world. So, the people that lose... From propping women up and telling them that they can do no wrong and that they're sugar and spice and everything nice, no matter how poorly behaved they are, the people that lose are the women because at the end of the day, the women are the ones that don't get the husband, don't get the children. They don't yep. get that life that they want because make no mistake about it. I say all the time, women don't derive the same pleasure from success that men do. Yep. Men, we're built for this. You know what I'm saying? We're built to go out there, create, make money. That's what we're based on. That's a man's life is what he creates. A woman, bro, whether they want to accept it or not, call me sexist, blah, blah, blah. It's to and have then, children, bro. It's to have a family. Thing, let me say one thing as well. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, RP content will never be uh, mainstream. Uh, I, don't, I don't think so. Yeah, I mean, it's, least, yeah. not right now. Not right it now. Take a, it may take a it's long, gonna take like long, twenty long, years, anything, man. But that's a long way coming, bro. Like, it's, it's not gonna happen right now. Yeah. So, so um, anything, uh, uh, Chris? Anything else? Let's see. We, we want to make sure we don't miss anybody. No, we, pretty much we hit Jake. Yep. Okay. Phone lines. All right. Cool. Let's cool. go back to the phone lines. Uh, six two six. Six two six. I think this is Phoenix right here. Six two six. Yeah. Yeah, hello. Yo, what up, man? What's up, man? Yeah, hey, what's up, bro? Hey, I got a, I got a question. Um, so this, this, I'm gonna tell you guys a situation that's happened to me. It's happened to me like twice in my life, and I'm kind of confused because I don't know how to go about it when this happens, and like, what should I do? But anyways, the first time this happened to me, I was with some chick, right? And uh, we're, but we're literally about to smash in the back of my car, and I'm taking off her pants and everything. And as I'm taking off her pants, she, she'll. She started saying things like, oh, so is this what you do with every girl? Like stuff like that, like insecure questions like that. And at that time, the first time it happened to me, I was about 20 years old. I was like, I was the same, bro. So, you know, my ass started playing it off like, oh, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not like that. You know, I started playing that. <laughs> and so that's the first time it happened to me. I ended up smashing. The second time it happened to me, I was, I was probably like, la yeah, I think it was last year. Um, and um it happened to me again with this chick, but this time when she asked me, she when she said the same thing, like she asked me, like, "Oh, so is this what you do with girls that you meet?" Blah blah. Like, I don't know what to say, so I just kept my mouth shut. You I just simple, simple, dude. Agree and amplify. Agree yeah. and amplify. Be yeah. like, "Yeah, you're girl number seven thousand one hundred twenty-two," and just uh, make have a smirk uh -huh. on your face and keep going. You could be like, yeah, only the girls that I like. Yeah, some like, some chicky Don't take her serious, okay. bro. Yeah. Like never, like like you. Can't, I'm not gonna cool. lie. You fucked up by saying, "Oh no, I'm not uh, like that." You're just yeah. lucky that you had, you you know, you you had enough attraction right. yeah. that she still let you slip up. But like or, a lot of other girls would be like, "Oh, this dude's a pussy." Or don't say anything. Just you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Just keep uh, going. Yeah. Keep going, bro. And so, the, so, 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 when I said that, that was the first time. That was like years ago. So I kind of. Uh, I, I, I thought about it and I was like, nah, you know what? This time I'm just going to keep my mouth shut if it ever happens again. And that's why when it happened the next time, I just didn't say nothing. I just kept uh, taking off her pants. And then, and yeah, like I ended up smashing, but like within five minutes, I think it started fucking with her head. And she was like, you know what? Stop, stop, stop. And I was like, what the fuck? And I just stopped, bro. I mean, you know, I, I didn't, I didn't keep going, but yeah, dude, you just got to play it, it down. Head, like, what you you got to play it down. Like you huh? got to like make a joke. You got to, uh, this is a mute. You know what I mean? You got to agree and amplify when they say stupid stuff like that. You got to give a stupid answer. Uh -huh. Oh, this with all the girls. Right, yeah, right. your girl number 6,000, whatever. Ha ha ha. Yep. And then you just whatever. Just play it off. And then, and then, yo, okay, real talk. Okay, so be, so yeah, just be, just be, uh -huh. just, just treat it like it's funny. You know what I'm saying? And then if she says, "Oh no, I, I don't want to do it," whatever, then you be like, "All right, cool, no, no problem." And then you kick her out your spot. No problem. Yeah, bro. Like, right. yo, so, whatever so you like, do, like, like get back, like get back at her, like kind of being like a smartass, right? Yeah, yeah. And then, and then like, if she says, <laughs> and 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 then if she says like, "Oh, stop, whatever," blah blah blah. They just be like, "All right, cool. Well, listen, uh -huh. hey, hey, baby, nothing. You know, I, I respect your decision that you don't want to have the bedroom fun." But then you kick her out, bro. I mean, uh -huh. bro, if I were you, I just wouldn't say anything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, keep, nah, keep it pushing, yeah, bro. Yeah, right, just don't say right. anything. That, and then that uh, last question. The, is that is that like a, a woman's way of trying to shame you so that she doesn't feel guilty that she's about to give, give it to you? Yeah. Basically, yeah. Yeah. That, that's yeah. Uh, basically yeah. That's what she, it really is. Yeah, bro. Girl, yo, when, when girls have sex, yeah. bro, I, I'm just going to keep it real. They, they just uh -huh. don't want to. They don't want to be responsible for it. 
They want to be, they want to be like, oh, the right. man, you know, it just happened, or like they want that plausible deniability. You know what I'm saying? Because they never want to. You got to remember, girls, what they feel is they're real. Okay, what they feel is they're real. Right. So if they feel like they're being garden tools, if you know what I'm saying, they're gonna, they're not gonna right. like that. So they're gonna try to like, you know, when she says stuff like that, she wants you to be in a position where. You have so much uh, experience with women that you kind of downplay. Aha, uh -huh, don't worry. You're girl number 1,000, whatever. You make it funny or you just, uh, you know, amuse mastery or uh, agree and amplify, whatever it is. Because when you give a, a funny, witty response like that, it's like this isn't a big deal to you. And that's going to put her at ease because she doesn't want to feel like she's going to be judged for it. You get what I'm saying? Yep. Right. Nah, yeah. It makes a lot of sense. Nah, I just, and you know what? I, ha I had an idea, but like what you're saying, it kind of ran through my head, but I, I was like, you know what? Let me ask, let me ask him because I know you guys always be talking about stuff like this. So I'm like, let me ask him just to confirm. You know? Yeah, mean? last minute resistance yeah, comes up, bro. Know, bro. But but whatever you do, if she says no, then uh, no is no, bro. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't be an idiot and do something dumb nah, and get yeah, yourself yeah. locked up. Yeah. But like at the same time, oh, nah, yeah. it's her right to say no. But you know what? It's your right to also not let her stay at your house and call somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Like I tell you guys all the time, don't let chicks try to leverage bedroom fun against you for compliance because that's another girl tactic. What they'll do is. They'll like almost kind of give it to you and they'll be like, oh, no, sorry, I don't want to do it. Cool. That's totally fine. But you mm -hmm. know what? I'm not going to let you sit here and chill w w while I'm getting blue balled. Like you got to leave. I'm going to call somebody else. You know what I'm saying? This nah, is yeah, fresh. Yeah, right. Bro, you got to You got to become you got to become uh, what's his name? Uh, what's the dude from the Leonidas? movie? 300? You got to be Leonidas, bro. You got to be like, this yeah. is fresh and fit. Oh. Bam. Kick oh. right your spot. You got another <laughs> one, bro. All right, there you go, man. All right, I call her. Peace. Yeah. Hey, hey, real, All right, call hey, her. real quick, real quick. Fuck Billy on, bro. What's up? <laughs> yeah, All right, bro. All right, yeah, bro. man. Thank you. There. All right, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, later. Cool. All right, we got some, All right, guys, uh, some super we chats. Let's hit them. Um, RTD Brand says, at Fresh, someone hit me up posing as you on IG. They were talking about a Forex trading course. That is not Fresh, guys. No, that's not, dude, I don't trade, bro. <laughs> Yo, if you want, if you need trading advice, hit uh, Q Banks. Yep. Yep. I don't Goons. trade. Goons come about 299. Y'all need to. Your own TV show, man show of 2021. Bro, we, we, man. Hey, man. We, hey, you, we, it's going to come. It's going to come. We Jake, already got it going right now. Monday, Wednesday, Snake. Friday, 6 p.m. Two yeah. bucks. Dr. Phil is a white Derek Jackson. Facts. There you go. Yeah, Dr. Phil is an idiot, bro. So is Dr. Stop. Oz. These Stop. dudes are, are clowns on mainstream Stop. TV. Hot five bucks. Hopefully, Rap Hell Runner doesn't go too mainstream. Most entrepreneurs' lifeline is based on women spending a sums money. This is true. Women are uh, 80 plus percent of the consumer base, my friends, and they hold three quarters of the debt. That is statistically proven before anyone sits here and tries to talk smack. Zahara yeah. G, 499, Mar Marin. Sound effects are, are super, LOL. I want to don, don, don the, the market. market. Don the Marco, Marco. Guys, I have become one with the soundboard. Uh, it's Sean Brown, 199. New episode just uploaded on Spotify. Thank You're you welcome. to Sean. Yeah, man. Guys, yep. we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio. We're on every Everywhere, single platform, man. man. So we're out here like boners through gray sweatpants. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. uh, who's up so next? We got some phone calls. We got okay. call. Yeah, we answer them, right? All right, let's hit, yeah, let's hit these phone calls. Guys, uh, we will answer your phone calls. Don't worry. Uh, yeah, 718. We got New York City in the house. Hello? Hello? Yo, what's up, caller? Yeah, what's up, man? What up, uh, bro? Uh, I, I want to say I'm a big fan of your podcast. Thank you. Thanks, man. Yeah, you, you, your podcast, you know, I watch you all the time, man. I'm a big fan, big fan. Um, I got a situation I want to talk about. Go ahead. Go ahead. So Make it short, though. You know, Make it short. All right, all right. So um, I was trying to get laid, right? And I was talking to some girl, and we were going to do it, right? And when we got to business, she pulled on my pants and stuff, right? And she said I got the, the two-inch pinch. Uh, caller, how old are you, by the way? Wait, how old are you? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm 18. Okay. So, okay. This is kind of awkward, but yeah, go ahead. What's so, the question? Are you done? So or you you? Shit? Oh, so, uh, no, this happened twice. Do you have, like, any advice? I was thinking of taking, like, some supplements or something so I could help it. Yo, hit up our boy, Sterling Cooper. Sterling Cooper, bro. He has a book, he, uh, How he, I Grew My Dick. He knows how to extend your uh, bishop to make it oh, really yeah. long. So, yeah, go ahead so, and hit him up. Sterling Cooper. Sterling Cooper. Mm -hmm. At Instagram or for YouTube as well, he can help you out, brother. But we can't help you with that, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Sterling right. Cooper has yeah, a book man. on right. that, man. All right. yeah, have, a, have a great day, man. All, All right, peace. Nice. Thank you. All right, man. All right, we got. Uh, okay, uh, wasn't sure if he was trolling or not, but yeah, 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 get yeah. the book. Yeah, yeah. All right, nine one seven. I don't want to know. Nine one seven. Yo, what's good, fresh fit? Yo, what's up, what man? up, man? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, yeah, what sir. Up? 
Hey, hey guys, I got a question for you. Like, um, why does the exes always come back? Like, whenever you're doing something good, and like, should I accept her? Like, let's say, like, I'm fucking this bitches left and right. Should I still accept her to like just to fuck? And then yeah, you accept her only for sex and nothing else. You, you, bro, listen. When a chick like, because this happens sometimes, where like you'll become like a girl curves you, then you become successful. She wants to come back in. Cool. Now you're gonna be used as nothing else than a sexual commodity, and you kick yep. her to the curb after. She needs to feel the pain of her mess up, bro. Okay. Yeah, man. She's an ex for a reason. She's bro. an ex for a reason. And honestly, bro. man, just add it to your um, your stable. If she wants to come back in, sure, you can come back in. But this is smash. That's sex it. only. Nothing yeah, else. You're not about to be my girl again. And so. here, let me tell you something. Well, only too dumb. And and if you use her for sex only, she's gonna get mad and stop messing with you anyway. So go ahead. Yeah. Make her feel that pain of her leaving you, because I Garrett, because let's keep it real, guys. Most breakups that initiate. The women initiate the breakup, whether you weren't ambitious enough, you didn't have money, whatever it is. Yeah. You got you were fat, like a uh, homeboy over here from the other YouTube channel, right? <laughs> and they leave you, and then you go on the come up, and then they want to come back. Cool, you can come back, but now you're just going to suck a whole lot of D, baby. Whole and then, bam, and then you just kick her to the curb and make her part of the uh, the smash, and, no smash and dash. Nothing else, all right? All right, bro. Appreciate it, man. All right, all brother. Man. You need to be cold-blooded just like these chicks, because best believe they'd be doing the same oh, thing to men, bro. Hold on. We got a new Patreon. Shout out to Matt. Just joined the $97 a year. Welcome to the fam, man. Welcome, brother. Boom. Okay. It's a her G, 49. Men think that women will like them out being weak, but it only produces the worst effect. Be ruthless like mine. You got to be, guys. You got to be. Like women are, the women. here's the thing. Women are cutthroat. It's just that, you you know, it, it, they do it covertly when they curve you, when they just leave you. When There's a reason why women break up, uh, initiate 80% of the divorces and they initiate most breakups. Women are cutthroat by by nature bro they have to be they have to align themselves with the highest value guy yeah. so i'm telling you guys you need to be cutthroat like them yep. chick leaves you then wants to come back when everything's all hunky dory cool baby now you're gonna suck a lot of d and i'm out boom she does not get a commitment she don't get nothing from you no more go ahead all right we got uh 859 on the line ready 859 hello 859 what up what's up man what's up this is marco from kentucky i had a question for you guys I love the podcast. You all have the best dating advice. I'm implementing it when I can. Nice. nice. My question to you guys is, I'm 22, and I just about to graduate college with a degree in engineering. How do you get that bag? Like, if you could go back and talk to yourself when you're 22, what would you do? Um, just, I would say this, man. Um, you think get the bag? Yeah, yeah, I think. I mean, he's going to be an engineer, so you're probably going to you're gonna be making six figures, bro. Yeah. Just save your money, bro. Live well below your means. You know what I'm saying? Live well below your means. You should be able to, you live out there in Kentucky. Kentucky is cheap. Yeah. So you should be able to pay your rent two times, baby. Like yeah. live, live, live well okay. below your means, save money, invest your money. Okay. Get into cryptocurrency, get into real estate, whatever you want to do. Yeah. But save your money, bro. Like don't be an idiot living beyond your means. That's like the number one thing. And look, you could, you can get what you want guys, but picture this, right? A lot of people, they want these nice things, mm -hmm. but they don't know how to um, manage it. Guys, if, if for example, let's say you want to get a, a sports car, right? You can get a sports car, put it on Turo, and when you're not driving it, rent it out, and make money to pay, make the car payment. And you still have the car, and it's paid off in a couple months. Bam. So you can get what you want, bro. Just make sure you play, you play it smart. And like Marvin said, invest your money in assets that can actually pay you dividends or, or cash flow uh, whenever you get those assets. Also, build your credit, bro. Yep. Build your credit, man. Yep. I, yo, we're going to do a whole... Leverage. We we talked about this um we 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 talked about this in our high value course but guys I'm gonna break it down in detail how to finesse a good credit score how to not finesse it you obviously you're gonna earn it but you guys get <laughs> what I'm saying like how to good get, yeah. get a good credit score and the importance of credit bro yep. if you live in the West West is built on the back of credit guys which credit yep. is nothing more than banks trusting you with money guys okay I was able to get my first house making 19 bucks an hour there you that's, go that's, sorry based 50, off no, credit sorry, 15 an hour. Yep. Off of credit alone. So leverage is very important, guys. Yeah, man. You guys got to get, uh, that's what I would say. Get your money right and build your credit, guys. It doesn't matter how much capital you have. Yep. If you don't have good credit, you're not going to be able to get a lot of assets that can pay you dividends in the future, right? Yep. All right, caller. All right. Thank you, guys. Love the show. All right, and man. It. Peace. Thank God. Thank God. Uh, super chat from Red, Red Pill Kick Slap. Two bucks. What's your fit? Keeping delivering dumb kicks. Oh so, yeah, baby! You know what time it is, bro. Boy. Yeah, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's 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 what we do, man. We're about yeah, to man. smack up those other two idiots too. Yeah. So uh, can't even get off his chair. <laughs> we got a uh, moonstar goon coming about four ninety nine. 
put the squeeze on women in society and put the squeeze on the stock market. Hold the line. Bam, bam. Keep right. getting this money, guys. All yeah. right, cool. We got 242. Oh, we got the Bahamas in the house. Hey, there you go. Hello? Yo, what up, man? Bro, how you know the Bahamas area code, though? Uh, a lot, a lot of reasons why I can't, I can't explain why. <laughs> Jeez, I like that. I like that. I rate that. But yeah, basically, so you know, the island's kind of small. So I'm dealing with these shorties out here, but like, mm. I'm just trying to figure out how to like, how to keep it like low key, you know? Cause like sometimes they'll be asking like shit or whatever, but mm -hmm. I just want to know like how to move, like, you know? Fresh, you could talk I, about I this really cause that. you were in Barbados and you know, Bahamas kind of, you know, the island vibe. So what do you mean? They're not like, uh, coming on dates. What do you mean, bro? Yeah, like date, like date type of thing. Like, is it is it smart to like take them on dates? Cause like you know the restaurants are kind of like where everybody like the same kind of restaurants where everybody be going or like how did you kind of move? You know? Oh man, so do you date uh, girls that live there or foreigners? Because that's gonna make a big difference here. Uh, right now it's only girls that live here because you know, like no tourists are coming in, so it's kind of kind of okay. dead on tourists right now. So bro, what you need to do right is use we have to your advantage. So for example, the beach, right? You can set a, a beach date. Mm -hmm. You pull up in your whip, bro. You know what I'm saying? You chill with a chick. You get some drinks on the beach. That could be your date right there. And you smash like either in your car or back at your crib. Or for example, you can go to like, I don't know, um, in Bahamas, they probably have like, like Barbados, they have, um, you know, fast food restaurants. You just go there real quick, get a drink or two of some food. And then mm -hmm. um, the thing is, bro, you can use things to your advantage because one, there's not a lot going on right now anyway. And then two, use the natural mm -hmm. resources that you have. So I would say, say, bro, Use the beach, maybe use the park. Um, things aren't really open like that, so go late night. That way, you know what I'm saying you can isolate yourself with her. And you know, another thing to do after that is to go back to your spot. You feel me? So I'll do it that way. Yeah, yeah. So you you think this is okay? So like the girls I'm talking about are kind of like upper class. Like you think they'll work with like those type of girls too? Honestly, bro. Now that uh, we're in a pandemic and there isn't shit going on anyway, it could. Now I'll say this though. If they're like high class, like white girls or like girls like like that. Okay, so basically, yeah. So like, let me tell you what like what it is, right? Yeah. So like, like basically, like I still live with my parents now because like I go to school in Canada. Oh. But like I'm back home now because like the whole pandemic shit. So like I'm chilling here. But like how it is, like my parents, like my mom is African, so like girls and, and shit like ain't you know like it ain't a move like that. So, um, basically they're like more like white girls like. But like, like I'd say, like really, like rich white girls type shit. All right, bro. If it's the rich white girls from the islands, bro, you can't take them to no damn beach, <laughs> bro. Okay, bro. that's yo, what I'm trying to say. Yo, like. yo, 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 real talk, bro. Like, but, that's right. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, like, right now, you're not in a spot to do this, my boy. You need to get your. It's not a move. You get, know? get your money up, bro, and date these these regular chicks, bro. Cause they, you can't handle that right now, brother. I'm telling you right now, it's too much. Look, get on a Patreon, bro. I'm gonna just say that right now, cause you need some help. But at the same time, mm -hmm. go for locals that aren't the high class because you can't offer them what they're looking for at this point. And you're not white yourself, so it's going to be kind of hard. You know what I'm saying? That's right, fine. Cool. cool. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I read that. All right, bro. All right, man. Peace. All right, bro. Respect that, eh? Thanks. All right, All right. man. Uh, uh, two, one, five. Okay, man. These Okay. Um, do we have any super chats? Uh, no, not yet. Okay, yeah. guys, remember super chats come first over phone calls. So, uh, and the phone lines are blowing up right now. So we might not get to all of you guys. I'll be honest. Like we got a lot of phone yeah. phone lines. Uh, okay. Uh, who's on the line right now? We got what? Uh, two one five. Uh, hey, two one five. What's up, man? Welcome to the show. What's up, guys? Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah. Nice. I'm gonna just make this uh brief. Uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you again. Uh, I've called a few times in the past, but uh. Keep doing what you guys do, and I'm freaking like you guys are literally my favorite YouTubers. Oh, thanks, man. Um, but Thank I you, do man. have this one question. I'm, I'm just gonna make it real brief. What What do you do with the girl that um um that's like into into black guys, like legit, like only black guys? Are you black? No. Oh, bro. Well, <laughs> bro, then dude, okay. that's a dub, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm yo, saying? Yo, yo, so real talk, right? There's a. <laughs> Yo, I'll say this, right? There's a fetish going on where some girls only date black guys. And bro, no matter what you do, bro, you could be you could be the best person in the world. You got all the money. If you're not black, bro, they're not going for you. So that's the dub right there, my guy. Nope. <laughs> it's a dub. So <laughs> it's what it is, man. You know? Got it. Gotcha. Gotcha. So look, I'll say this, bro. There's girls that will date black guys, yes, 
but the girls will date whatever color you are. So I would just find girls that like like you for who you are, bro. Um, even though it's hard to find, and you know what I'm saying, work with that. But girls that date black guys like only, nah, bro. Don't, they're not gonna change for you because that's their imprint. Some black dude imprinted her very well, either with some good D or how he treated her. I know that's her go-to, and you're not black, so just you being that different color. You're, it's done. Yeah, bro. You just got to accept the fact yeah. that denied. That's like it. some chicks just ain't going to like, they're but, just not, you know what I'm saying? I do, do want to add this though. Like she, she does find me attractive. Like she's, um, she's actually into me. We've been, I, I matched with her through, uh, through Bumble and we've been, uh, we've been talking through snap a lot. Mm -hmm. And, um, it was just something where she kind of like try, try to like hide from me. Cause I was just always, um, Kind of asking you know what kind of guy she into and she all right, would always yo, kind of crawler, 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 crawler. Hold on, yeah, yeah, yo. Okay, I can already tell that you're way too invested in this chick. Way too. Invested. I, we are way too invested. The fact that you're calling into the show right now to ask about this bimbo tells me a lot of red flags that that you care too much. I'm telling you right now. So if that was me, yeah, I would already smashed her because I'm yeah. black. <laughs> yeah, you messed up. So this is a thing, bro. I'm gonna tell you that because you said you're talking to her on Snap and all this other stuff, which has me very scared. Because if you're talking to her on Snap. Most girls that talk to you on Snap are attention whores. Yep. So this is what you're going to do, my friend. You're going to hang up the phone with us after after I'm done giving you this advice. You're going to do this. You're going to call that bimbo. You're going to tell her, hey, listen, when are you free this week? You're going to schedule a date close to your place, okay? Then you're going to take her on said date, preferably a drinking date, not no dinner date or none of that other BS. And if she doesn't meet up with you on this date or make effort to meet you sometime this week, you are going to move on to the next girl. I'm already alarmed that you've spent this much time and effort talking to this girl, and she's basically using you for free attention, my friend. Yep. Okay? So you're going to set the date. If she doesn't want to meet, you're going to move on to the next girl. Okay? Got it. All right, bro. All right, Go ahead and call back in next week and let us Thank know. You if you don't know. smash, I'm going to give you a – I'm also going to give you a Leonidas kick. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. All right, bro. Peace. All right, man. All right. 901? Hey, what's going on, guys? Love the show. Quick question, common hip hop proverb: It ain't tricking if you got it. Do you agree or disagree? Yeah, we 100% uh, disagree because yeah. spending money on chicks when they don't earn it is is a whole. You're gonna take L's for that, bro. Yep. Like, and you know, we'll do an episode yeah. on what's tricking and what's not. Yeah, because because guys, there seems to be a lot of like overlap with guys are like saying like, oh, paying for a girl for Uber is tricking, or paying for her dinner is, is bro, tricking. Bro, if it's a chick that you're smashing, it ain't like yeah. nah. But there's different levels. And yo, anyone that says that they don't spend money on chicks, bro, cap. is capping hard because or they're guys, dealing with some ugly bros. Ugly girls because high value, dude. Sorry, <laughs> girls that are eight, nine, and tens, bro, dude. There's no way you could come to them and that type of vibe. And they go mess with you, with you like that. So you gotta spend some, some type of bread. And it could be even an Uber, it could be even maybe some food or some drinks. But at the same time, it's because we know we're gonna smash them. Now, for you, bro, in that sense, trick if tricking if you got it, look, man, I'm not telling you how to how to spend your money, but us, we don't trick. We'll bro. we'll do we'll do a whole episode on this. But here's the litmus test yeah. for everybody in here that's wondering. If you're spending the money on a girl, is it going to benefit you? Yeah, or if is it gonna benefit her? I'll give you an example. If it solely benefits her, you buy her a Gucci bag. Does that benefit you? No. no. That benefits her solely. Tricking. But let's say you're going out for drinks, right? And you pay for the drinks. That's going to benefit you and her because what are you doing? You're on a date. You're showing authority. You're conveying dominance, assertiveness, decisiveness, etc. You're having these other attractive traits be shown and you're going to be maintaining the frame. That is beneficial to you and her not tricking. And we'll do a whole episode on this. But in general, bro, if she's the only one benefiting from the expenditure of the money, it's a fucking problem and you're tricking. Cool? Got it. Thanks for the advice. Love the show. Keep it up. All right, man. Peace. All right, man. That's why we're the best, bro. We answer these questions on spot. On the spot. Man. You know what I'm saying? That's how you guys know we're in the game. Yo, I challenge you guys. Have other coaches go ahead and answer questions on the on spot life. when it comes to like money, girls, Dating, fitness, on the spot, bro. No, just, and nobody I, does this. I suppose to bring girls on stream as you have. And we bring stuff. girls on stream, bro. We're the yeah, best, man. Tell them bring girls on stream. That's why we got fat boys out here talking smack with dudes that need haircuts, dusty motherfuckers. Yeah, man, these dudes are gonna get cooked. All right, go ahead. We gotta call on the line. We got two one six. <laughs> two one six. Welcome to the show, man. <laughs> two one six. Going once, twice. All right. And really, nigga. Move. Uh, we're gonna move on to the next one. Uh, four eight zero. Let's go. Four eighty. You're on the air. Uh, yeah, we're here. Hey, shout out to you guys, man. I really enjoy everything you guys uh, are teaching us. I just got a quick question. Do you guys? Do you guys? Uh, um, is it a good idea to post the girls you're smashing on IG, or is it better to keep it on the low? 
Ooh. Uh, sm- you know, okay. Uh, like story wise. Yeah. Like, what do you mean? Like smashing them? Like you're like, like you're like putting clips yeah, of like, maybe say, you let's say I, I take a girl on a date. I'm, I'm at the club. We take a photo, but I end up smashing, but she looks good. I could get some pre-selection off of that photo. Or is it better to just take a picture of me taking uh, like a, a toast? That a varies. Hand in that the, varies yeah. drastically, exactly. bro. Yeah, because you know it's funny? Like you can do that and it could mess you up greatly. Yes. Or you could do it and it could help you greatly as well. So it depends on where you're at. And most people, okay, so I'll, I'll say this, right? If you've got status and you've got like, like a, a lot of clout, that helps you immensely. If you don't, bro, you're shooting yourself in the foot because girls will be like, oh, he's a player. I'm good. Now, some girls may be like, yo, that's kind of kind of hot. Yeah. But that's a small majority of girls that will say that. And so, you're going to have to have a, uh, like some kind of authority to be able to pull that off without getting like ostracized by the chicks. Does that make sense? So I'll give you an example. Dan Blazarian posts pictures of himself with chicks on boats. He can get away with it because that's already congruent to his persona. Right. Let's say you, normal guy, no one really knows that you're out here with dealing with chicks, whatever it is. Then you start put, posting it out of nowhere. It's going to be try hard and forced. Yeah. So it varies drastically on the person, which we talked about this on detail and DMs on demand yeah. based on the person that we were consulting. We don't know enough about you to be able to tell you if that's a viable option or not, but just understand when you post, uh, like, um, how do I say this? Overt pre-selection like that, where yeah. it's like very obvious that you're smashing these chicks, yeah. you'll lose some and you'll gain some, but we need to know more about you, bro, which we don't I have look, time to figure out look, now. Bro, I'll post but, girls on my story, bro. And like, even me, bro, like it messed me, messed me up because like girls be like, Oh, I yeah, see facts. you. And, it looks cool for you guys. I'm doing it for you guys. So you can see it's for, proof, yeah, it's for you guys. Yeah. But it kind of does hurt me in the end. Because Facts. It turns some girls off. So honestly, Facts. bro, I would say away from it. If anything, do, do like a, a boomerang, maybe with like a, a toast with her, with her hand in it, if anything. All right. Yeah. But showing her face, bro. Uh, all that. Yeah. Do all that stuff. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Just be careful with that, bro. Cause it could be a cool, double edged sword. Hey, thank you guys so much, man. I appreciate it. All right, all right man. Dude. Cool. Uh, we got a super chat. Let's hit that super chat. Boom. Yes. We have a uh, Victor. Uh, uh, yeah, because all nine, nine game SMV is essential to be a 10% man, ability to get women. But to be a 1% man, you need to have dark triad personality. That's why pimps can get a biatch to pay him <laughs> for selling peace league. That's big facts, guys. Yo, the guys that are best with women have dark triad traits, man, and they're inherently selfish, which is why I told you guys you need to date like because women are already selfish, they're solipsistic by nature. You know, this is why when we tell you guys women have zero idea about the plight of men, they really don't, guys. When we ask them what percentage of guys you think are sexually active, they're shocked when we say 10 to 20%. But it's because they only deal with a small, small minority of men and they're, the rest of the men are invisible with them. So I'm telling you guys that same solipsism that women naturally have, I need you guys to learn it so that you don't get finessed by these chicks. You need yeah. to be selfish just like they are. It's just that society ain't going to tell you that. Uh, All right, let's get a 216. Gr- excellent super chat from Victor. All right, 216. Yep. And then we got two more calls. So yeah. I have a question. Um, Go ahead. With, about women. Um, I was married for like 13 years before my ex did monkey backflip and I caught her. Mm. So I got back in the dating field. Yeah. She was screwing her coworker because she told me she was with her uh, sister. Yep. Um, I got back in the dating field a couple years ago. Yep. And I was noticing how women was ghosting me. So and I was doing like speed dating events or whatever. And... I started noticing, like, more I treat women like guys, stop calling them. We go out to, like, restaurants. I tell them up front, you pay for your own stuff. If not, you're washing dishes. <laughs> and more I treat them like guys, more they come out to me, you know, and less respect I give them. So me and my friend was, like, getting tired of it. So we decided to uh, get our passports and go overseas. And we go overseas, women that we think here are, like, dimes are like really like fours because when I went to Europe, Germany, there's actually dimes out there. Like it real dimes. Like you look at the chick, like you think she's a model. All right. Call her. What's your question? Like, call her. What's your question? Like, my question is if American women want to be like guys at the end of the day, what is the point of dating them? Like I'm dating my best friend. I'm dating a dude. Dating if a woman don't want to be feminine, don't want to work out, don't want to cook and clean. Um, and want me to treat her like a dude. What's the point of dating an American woman? I just want to know that because y'all always talk okay. about dudes, um, you know, So I'll tell you this. this, and this. I'll tell you this, man. Listen, yeah. so we we have experience with this. I mean, one of our close friends absolutely detests uh, American women. You know, he's yep. in Colombia half the year. And when he's here, he's just working. He won't even deal with these chicks. Listen, we get it, guys. Western women, yes, they have a lot of bad habits that are not conducive to a long-term relationship, but whatever it is. let's be real, guys. Yeah. Are you going to go without smashing chicks? Nah, no, you're not. Yeah. Not and deep down, guys, let's be honest here. They're not worth the squeeze. But guess what? 
not every girl is the same. Some may be potentially wifey. Yeah. I'm not saying a lot of them, most yeah. of them for the streets. Yeah, thanks. But guess what? You're only going to know this if you do with a lot of females. And you're only going to notice if you have game. That's it. And the other thing too, caller. Yo, how, real talk. How tall are you? How much do you weigh? I'm six foot. When I was married, when I was married, I, was, I got a little, I got heavy sex. I got too relaxed. So I ended up gaining. Yo, I, yo, listen, listen. I could tell you're fat right now from the way that you speak, bro. I could tell that you're fat just right now from the way you speak. Damn, son. Where now, you find this one? here's the thing, man. Right. Listen, like. We hold women accountable, but we also hold men accountable. Yep. You got to understand that when you're fat, right. bro, you, you're automatically going to be invisible to a large demographic of women. Yep. All right? Because like I told you, this body positivity right. BS, it only applies to women. It only doesn't women. apply to men. Nope. If you're fat as a guy, you're, you're going to pay for that. Now, th let's keep it real. The reason why you're getting these girls out in Europe and they're acting feminine to you is because you got an American fucking passport, bro. So make no delusion about it that these women... Understand that you have higher perceived status than them, mm -hmm. so you're going to be able to uh, get a certain amount of femininity from them off rip. But if you bring them back to the states, they're going to act. They're going to, you know, become the same type of chicks that are here. Just that foreign women know how to come correct with guys that have higher perceived status off rip. Now, with that said, yo, if you want to stay foreign, that's fine. We're not going to knock guys that want to go out and, uh, you know, be an expatriate to another country where the women are more feminine, more submissive. We ain't going to knock you. We, you know, we're not going to sit here. But what I will tell you is you better be prepared to stay out there. And also, you got to hold yourself accountable, too. You're fat as fuck. I can hear it in your voice that you're breathing through your mouth, bro, like this other nigga that's talking smack about us. And I'm giving you tough love on the air right, right now because I need you to understand the reason why you have these chicks that don't respect you and treat you bad is because you don't respect yourself. When you're fat and you're not in shape, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be the way women treat you is literally a mirror of how they actually see you in the world and how they respect you. Yep. So the fact that you don't respect yourself is why these chicks treat you poorly. And the only difference between you going foreign and not is that the chicks in these foreign countries are yeah. just selling a better facade and appeasing to your ego because you're an American citizen and you have higher status than them. Yep. So they will look beyond the fat the fact that you're a fat ass. Okay? All right. All right, but her. at the end of the day, that the foreign women, when it comes to divorces, uh, in America, the women get half of everything. Yep. You basically is going to... So in, in other countries, women don't get half of everything. If a woman cheats in a different country, for a fact, you go back to her family and tell her, her family, it depends on what kind um, No, for her. sure. No, listen, bro, there's... We, we, we understand that getting... This is why we tell guys don't get married. You know what I mean? We understand that in right. the West... It, it is it is completely counterproductive to get married in, in the West unless you have some serious parameters set in place to protect yourself. Yeah. But, bro, at the end of the day, all you're doing is you're going dealing with foreign women that are going to give you a better upfront reality, but they're still going to adhere to the same software that we talk about, which is hypergamy. The only reason that they're, con that, that they're right. treating you better is because you're an American citizen. But at the end of the day, it comes down to self-improvement, man. You're going to have to lose weight. You're going to have to improve your stature, and that's how you're going to be able to... Uh, be a little bit more competitive in the Western dating marketplace. Because remember, in the Western data marketplace, beta bucks isn't as important as it is in a foreign marketplace. All right, caller. All right, man. I call it. All right, good. All right, man. All right, uh, we got. I think we had a super chat or two. Yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, Big Ben, five bucks. Myron, were you also close to chicks? How can I bring that out? I'm a red pill simp trying to bring the dog out. Also. How much messaging on dating apps? Uh, yo, on number one, was I always just cold? No, I, I, bro, I took a lot of L's with women. This, 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 um, this mentality, this thing, people might say, oh, Byron, who hurt you? Ah. Nah, bro, it, I just learned a lot of lessons. You know what I'm saying? Like, here's the thing, and I learned a lot from my friends. Actually, a lot, a lot of these RP lessons that I learned, guys, I saw my friends go through it with chicks, with their girlfriends cheating on them, getting divorced, whatever it is. Fortunately, I could tell you guys right now, I've never loved a woman and gotten hurt. Like, me. Only women I love her is my mom, bro. Real talk. If we're gonna keep it real, me either. So yeah, I never been hurt once, bro. Yeah. So <laughs> so a lot of this comes from experience and seeing my friends take L's, man. So that's how I got cold. And then number two, um, how do I be? How do you become more cold? It just comes with experience, bro. It just comes with experience. Dr. And you're gonna Thunder. have to get burned a few times. You know, I've been burned a few times. That's how I learned. You know, Doctor Thunder. Bob then we Bucks. got Doctor Thunder. Pay thank, my respects. thank you, man. Thank you, Doctor Thunder. We appreciate it, bro. Appreciate Shout it, bro. out to Donovan Sharp, by the way. All right, let's get now. Uh, actually, five four five one two. Is we got five one two. All right, we got uh, Austin, Texas, in the house. All right. Yo, what's up, fellas? What's good? Yo, what up, man? Can y'all hear me? Yo, got you. Yeah, uh, I got a, a, a business question. I don't know if that's all right for me to ask. Sure, right. go ahead. In the go topic. Ahead. Um, let's do it. Uh, how do you meet people that want to push you further? Um, I try to expand my network, but I don't know where to meet people that also want to grow. What's you know your what business? I mean? For example, like you what's, and what's uh, your business? 
Huh? What's your business? Uh, I work in IT right now, okay. but um, my main focus on the side right now is real estate. I'm really getting into that. Okay, yeah, dude. Join the real estate group. Go to meetup.com. You can go to uh, online uh, networks as well. Uh, there's also uh, groups on Instagram you could you could join as well. Um, so most for the most part, bro, you got to add value to people Facts. to network. But if you're looking for people that are uh-huh. in the same hobbies, go where go where they're at. Like for example, when I first came here, like I wanted to learn how to speak better. So I went I went to Toastmasters, and from there I met my realtor, I met um, my marketer friend. So go to places where, where they're at, and then network there. When you're there, hey, my name's uh, I don't know if your name is. I said your name is Mark. Hey, my name is Mark. I do this and that. What do you do? Oh, I do this. Oh, dope. I need somebody to do this for me. And now we can exchange, uh, you know, saying value and do, do it that way. But go where, where people are at, where you want to network. That's all. Flex. You got to put half the game is putting yourself in a position so that you can meet the right people, man. Yep. All right. All right, caller. Cool. Okay. All right. We have now five four, and then right now on hold. One second. Miami, South Florida. Uh, Super chat forty nine nine. It's Gonzalez. I learned from a book called. Uh, practical female psychology. Basically, there's four types of women, adventurous, materialistic, good girl, and overt narcissistic. Self-esteem determines a woman is loyal. Boom. All right. Yeah. All right. Good. Thank you, Victor. Victor dropped some bombs hey, out here, man. Victor's bomb aware. Shows, man. Uh, do we have any other super chats or that? No. We, no okay. We All right, cool. We got 954 on the line. Hello? Well, uh, caller, hold on. We got a super chat real quick. Uh, shout out to Harry Zikos. Yes. Hey, uh, hey Harry. 499 bigger pockets is great real estate investment community side note i am in re broker real estate broker <coughs> yeah guys hit up here Zico's. he yes. actually does inv- uh he does uh real estate in new york yes. which is one of the most competitive marketplaces Very i cool know guy. harry good guy uh hit him up man uh if you guys want to network with someone is the best real estate community in the world go follow them and follow them as well check them out yep uh, okay last caller go ahead caller 954 in the house can you hear me yeah we got yes. you Okay. All right. First and foremost, first and foremost, I want to say you guys are doing God's work. Like on God, you guys are doing like an amazing job. Um, a, and a, I just want to say you guys are making like making. Hello. It's a yadi. Yes, you can't tell them accent. <laughs> I can tell, big man. Go, go. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Big go ahead. Serious, but my name is Chad. Um, I'm living in South Florida and all. My question to you guys. So I am. I've been on South for the past year now. And there's only one question that I can't really find an answer to. And I was hoping you guys could assist me. Like, in terms of having children, how do you go about Is it that you guys don't ever want children? Or is it that not no? Or, and then once you answer that question, I want you to go in depth. Well, not in depth. But I want you to expound on, like, you know, go, going about finding the girl to give you a child that's okay with not. Because I'm not getting married. That's out of the question, period. So it's finding a woman who's, and I, I haven't even really brought up my standards, a woman who's fit and feminine. And at this point, I feel like I'd only get a unicorn if I was to get someone who I want to, you know, have kids with. How do you feel about all that? Yeah, man. We, uh, we Actually, there's a video on our Patreon on Rolo, Tomasi, and Hotep. We go into like how to get kids, how to raise them, how to choose the right, right woman. So if you want like, a full breakdown of that, join the Patreon. But regarding uh, us having kids, bro, okay. I don't want any myself because, because like, for example, I know I'm very selfish and I don't want to waste I don't want to put my time into raising a kid right now. Maybe later on when I'm older, I may change that, that mindset. But for now, no, nah, bro. And yeah, then, Myron. No, I mean, uh, when it comes to children, man, you're, you're just gonna you're gonna have to like painfully like screen out the women, bro. Because um, especially if you got some money, <laughs> the more successful you are, the more um, the, the more you're gonna have to scrutinize women that you come across. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of chicks are gonna be looking for handouts or come up, whatever it is. So, and you gotta remember, this is gonna be the mother of your children. So, um, you're just going to have to find, uh, you're just gonna have to take your time, bro. Uh, you know, build your value because the, the, the more high value you are, the more you can demand. You understand? That's why I tell you guys become high value because when you become high value, then you can start to put boundaries in place and the girls are going to adhere to those boundaries because women only adhere to boundaries when they're scared to lose you. And they're only scared to lose you when they feel like you're a catch. You're only a catch when you're successful and you're only successful when you have your confidence and your competence up. See how it all builds upon itself on itself. So that's what I would say when it comes to uh, vetting a woman for a relationship. Now, as far as being the mother of your children, we tell you guys one year for an LTR, bruh, her being the mom of your kids, two, three years, bro. Yeah. Let that chick sweat a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hearing you. 
Are you there? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, no, man, we got you. All right, caller. So, yeah. caller, great question, well, thanks though, man. Again, man. You guys have a great show, man. All right, brother. Oh, Yo, right. get on the Patreon because we broke this down in detail with Hotep and Rolo. Yep. And their fathers themselves. So yeah. check that out. Yep. Okay. Oh, yeah. Rolo's the godfather. Rolo is the godfather. I yes. have his books and all. Awesome. Awesome. All so, right, man. Yeah. Get on the Patreon. All Peace right, out, Yadi. Uh, okay, we, we got, got more. We got one more. He came South last Florida. second, but we hey, we will South Florida. Florida. Go, we, man, another nine five four. We got you, bro. We we gonna we gonna go help everybody out. Everybody's gonna get this assistance. Okay. Uh, what's up, man? All right. All right. Hey, what's up, fellas? Uh, good show, good show. My logic question is, what is the uh, surrounding 50? So to get it to be a high-value male in your opinion, you need to notch count of 50. That's about three per year. Um, so I want to understand our logic versus geographical differences of sure. experiencing different types of women. Yeah, that's, a, that's an excellent question. Guys, before I answer this question, which is a great one, like the video, guys. I think we're almost at 600 likes. Guys, get us up there just so we can get pushed in the algorithm because obviously – uh, yeah, videos like two, this and content like this always get suppressed. So we, made we got it. 603. All right, nice. perfect. Good job. Because uh, we just cooked out those two dorks, and yeah, we're probably going to get <laughs> whatever. So anyway, to go back to the to answer your question, brother, the reason why I tell guys that they need to have a 50 lay count is because I know for a fact if you have sex with at least 50 girls, you're going to have a good body of work, as in you know how to deal with women for the most part. Because if you could get um, bedroom fun out of a girl, you're going to understand the basics of female nature, basic attraction, basic seduction, maintaining frame, these types of things. So, and the other reason why I say modern day men need to have at least a 50 lay count is because these girls definitely have 50 lay counts, if not more. You know what I'm saying? You guys got to remember, we live in a marketplace nowadays that encourages women to push off children, to go to college, to be strong and independent, chase their career, and do what? Ride the CC, okay? There's girls, guys, that are hitting 50 dudes in a semester when they're in college. And make no mistake about it, about 66% of college students are females, okay? So they're definitely going out here and, you know, doing their thing and having sex. So my thing is, a lot of the times when guys take L's with women, it's because not knowing better. And you're going to know better when you have more sexual partners as a guy. Having sexual partners for guys gives you wisdom, confidence, and allows you to move in the marketplace correctly. Having a high notch count for a woman, eh, it hurts them a lot, quite a bit. And there's a bunch of studies that talk about this. We talked about it in depth with Rolo on our interview, which if you guys want to talk about, you know, the correlation between a female's notch count and her ability to pair bond, you could talk, you could go check that out. But in general, guys, since women are more promiscuous now than ever before, you guys need to arm yourself with what experience and knowledge and know how to navigate these women correctly and pick the right girl for your long-term relationship. Because make no mistake about it, guys, girls that are promiscuous or were promiscuous are probably going to be a bad bet for you to invest in the future, whether it's a long-term relationship, a monogamous relationship, your children, whatever. So I say you need to have these things in place so that you know what you're doing. That's why I say 50 notch count, bare yeah. minimum in today's marketplace. All right, caller. All right, caller. Cool. And All right. And Victor Gonzalez with the last one, 499 Super Chat. Going to get Wingstop and read 33 Strategies of War. Thanks for the content. Reading Robert Green books helps a lot with game. Hashtag Don DeMarco. <laughs> So, uh, guys, uh, thank you so much for tuning in. We're going to cook Curtis Connor this Friday, 6 p.m., right here live. Guys, don't forget to get on the Patreon, patreon.com slash freshfit. Get the merchandise. Cool. Click below, Teespring. You get our merchandise and support yep. us, guys. Fresh full hoodies, T-shirts. And we're on Anchor, Spotify, yep. Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio. Yep. We're going to follow us on Instagram, guys, Instagram, Fresh, Fresh and Fit, Fit Miami. Miami. And we're going to do a swipe up yep. so that you guys can get on our newsletter and also catch the podcast because a lot of you guys have been asking for the podcast. We're back on. Chris is posting them every morning now yep. so you guys can listen to us on your way to work. Just don't play it loud because a lot of people are probably going to say you're massaged if you listen uh, to super us. Chats here. <laughs> oh, we, we got, got some super chats. Let's hit these. Yeah, uh, Jacob, 10 bucks. Uh, Todd Johnson said that if you want elevation, you need isolation. That advice is gold. Go to your finances, business, fitness, hobbies, and have any woman you want. Yeah, shout Facts. out to TJ Millionaire Mentor. Great guy. Yeah. Link, five bucks. Uh, would you guys consider breaking down the different types of women men will run into that men may not have experienced yet? Yeah, oh, we'll it do, looks like Link we'll is on. on that. We'll I do, think Link is on to something, bro. You know what, yeah, man? We'll do a video on that. We'll do a video on that for you, bro. And then we're going to expose the secrets. All right. There you go. Bro, truth, two bucks. Do you do you ever go diving in the holodex for old numbers? Oh, okay. Gotcha. Do you ever go diving in the holodex for old numbers? <laughs> Honestly, uh, bro. I don't. Really. I don't. We work too much volume. But there's so many different yeah. new leads, bro. But 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 uh, I, I know some guys like to do that. They like to go back and like, you know, hit up old girls that they had that, you know, leads that went dead. You know, I'm not going to knock you if you want to do that, bro. Yeah, but we can. personally work too much yeah, volume bro. to do that. Facts. All right. So um, 
Cool. With that said, guys, we'll catch you right here on Friday. Patreon.com slash Fresh Fit so you can get the exclusive content, see the gr two girls in one table. We might do an episode tonight for you guys, actually. We'll see. We got some things in the works. Yeah, I'm talking one right now. Yeah, we got some things in the works for you guys. Right, so man. we'll catch you guys right here on Friday, 6 p.m. We're going to roast Curtis Connor. Thank you, guys. Peace. Peace.